All right. Hello. What was that sound? It was weird. All right. Hello and welcome again to our uh, to our new Vegas no equipment run. Uh, in case you're wondering what that basically entails, anyone who might have seen the last one uh, may know. We're actually I'm calling this the D and D monk run because just like my favorite class in D and D. Uh, I actually require absolutely nothing in order to be effective in the field. The problem, of course, is that in Fallout New Vegas, as with, I'm sure, a lot of other games, that's not necessarily the case. It is actually much, much more difficult to do things without, you know, meds, caps, armor, weapons, anything, friends, no friends, no companions, nothing. There, I have, I have no one and nothing to back me up here, uh, cause, cause I'm a loner. And I've taken a vow of poverty, and I, <laughs> I, I have nothing to work with except my own wits, and, and basically have to rely completely on the skills that I have been given, uh, that that I accrue. That has become increasingly more difficult to deal with currently, because what we are in a, a situation now is uh, that I need to get onto the strip, and most of the common ways that you get onto the strip require you to either be at a much better fighting force than you usually are at level 3, or higher level than level 3, which I've just I've had to run away from quite a few fights, or uh, to have enough high skills in certain things that you can get, uh, that you can get where you need to go. So I've got a couple possibilities that I'm going to be looking into right now. The biggest thing is, though, trying to figure out the things I can do to actually level up fast, uh, to get a, get a few more levels under my belt, because if I can actually get a couple of my skills up there a bit, I will be able to uh, probably take the tram in, uh, or if I have a high enough speech, which I'm hoping to get, uh, I might be able to have the king help me out getting a pass into the strip. However, as we start today, uh, I'm actually at Nellis Air Force Base because I figured why not go and help the boomers? That's usually a good way to get some experience, and I think I can do most of these quests without too much problem. If if possible, maybe I can do the Valari mission. Um, not quite sure, to be honest with you. Uh, there's there's a lot of Meyer lurks over there. Uh, we're gonna do this this one more week. Uh, I don't know how far I'm going to get. I'm hoping I'm going to get pretty far. Mostly because I realize that there's something a whole lot more fun that I want to try. I like this challenge, and I want to see how far I can get. But the next thing that I want to do is take the same character, stay in New Vegas, go back to the beginning, and play as, as One Punch Man. Which is going to be a really interesting experience. Uh, and how do you do that? Well... Don't worry, I'll show you. There are console codes. Basically, that's what it is. However, for now, uh, let's take a little challenge. Let's actually try to do something. Uh, that, that, isn't, that isn't just inherently fun, but is also a little bit of skill. I don't have that very often, but here we go. Uh, so let's just jump right into the game here and see what we've got going on. So as you can see here, just going to jump right in. Okay, yep, thank you. You're gonna see that right now my unarmed scout. I'm only level three. I've, I've gone like completely across the map, and yet I'm only level three. Um, and, and more importantly, my unarmed skill is about 55. I tried to get it up to 50 as quickly as possible because you do unlock better skills. And if you're literally not using any equipment whatsoever, you gotta make it so that your, your fists can do the talking for you. And of course, speech trying to put points into that as well uh, because that's going to solve a few problems for me down the line. In case you are wondering, I do want to make it very clear. My DT, my damage threshold is actually negative two because Kamikaze is one of my perks. Just, uh, I, I'll show you what I got going on here. Yeah, Kamikaze and Heavy Handed. So melee and unarmed attacks do more damage but less critical hit damage. Um, and then Kamikaze where you have 10 action points but you get negative two to damage threshold. Um, there is, uh, I believe, reckless abandon that a lot of people suggest for stuff like this too, which you know causes your weapons to degrade faster, but also gives you uh, an increase to your critical hit uh, percentage, which I probably could have picked just as easily. I just didn't. 
maybe when we try One Punch Man, I'll, I'll do that instead. Uh, but I don't think he's going to really require it. Um, and uh, then the, the only things that I've really picked so far, I got Black Widow. Uh, just so that I can deal some extra damage, uh, and then the Ranger takedown, which I was able, uh, to do real quick when I passed through, um, uh, what is it? Novak. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, I don't actually, when I perform while moving backwards. Oh, I need to perform a power attack while moving backwards. Jeez. Okay, I think I could do that. I think I could do that, but it's... I, I just figured that that would come in handy. Anyway, this is what we're basically looking at. Strength at 10, Endurance at 10, Charisma and Perception are dump stats for me right now. I don't really need them. And then just even Distribution for Intelligence, Agility, and Luck. You can see that right now my status is good. My one saving grace is I don't have any meds, as you can see right here. I have no meds. The only thing I have is an emergency radio I can't put down. Um, <laughs> which I'm not planning on using. I never do anyway. Uh, obviously a key ring for keys. If I need anything mission critical like that for, like, keys or codes or something that I need in order to complete that, I'm gonna pick those things up. Otherwise, I'm not picking anything up. Uh, and if somebody gives me equipment or caps, I'm putting it down, uh, not using it anyway. So, uh, but we are currently in Nella. So, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take a Quick look at my quests to start out here. Uh, Volare, yeah, I gotta help the boomers. I've accrued a whole bunch. Spread word of Legion atrocities. That's always sounds like fun. This this is one that I had to put a pin in because I've gotten to the point where I can investigate that and try to stop the bomb on the tram. The problem is I can't. I don't have skills enough to actually take down the guy who has the deactivation key, and I don't have the skills enough to deactivate the bomb on the tram. So I had to, had to wait on that. And obviously I didn't do the Sunny Smiles thing because uh, I'm not using guns. So that would kind of ruin that whole thing, and uh, those are... Those are all... Uh, the, um, the whatever you call them, um, uh, come on, ah, there, good, sorry, I couldn't see the little hit point thing down at the bottom, where I could actually see my map markers, uh, okay, so here we go. Um, there's a few things that I gotta figure out here. What am I going to do? There is supposed to be, uh, over, uh, yeah, over here, I think. I learned the history of the boomers from that weird kid. That weird kid, which is what I'm calling him. I'm gonna see about the medical training. I don't think I have... I don't think my inherent medical training is going to help me here. Hi. Now that you know the story of our people. Um. I do have story. Ask away. Okay. I'm surprised it was. Several automatic warheads empty. detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses. All avoided Nellis by habit. Did they? <laughs> I love my science skill is not high enough, but your people were mutants, immune to radiation. It's not how that works. But little radiation didn't keep your people That's away. That's right. Our Geiger counter indicates that the base was radioactive, but not dangerously so. Mm. Enough time has passed. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, how old are you? Did you stay young this whole time? Why did your ancestors leave the safety of the vault? Yes. So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had Good guns. Good vault. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. 
Uh, I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Uh, my explosive skill also not good. Your people were willing to risk it all for freedom. Yeah. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. Well, but otherwise, there's something. It's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? How did you Nellis survive? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead. Solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. I have so little that I can actually... The ingenuity Thank of you. people. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, are there anything uh, that, that I can answer using my skills? What are howitzers doing? <laughs> You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We mm. found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Uh, people are yes. determined, Bunch. It's just about nothing Don't we won't do to get our skills. hands of some explosive ordnance. Sweet. Anything else you want to know? How old are you? How did you learn? Where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base mm. with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. Ooh. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, Good that's year. over 300 years ago. It's a lot the of years. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it, except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Uh, I don't have repair skill. What, what, I guess you could start the engines underwater and hop it up onto shore. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you can't pass any speech checks. Uh, I look forward It'll to seeing It'll be spectacular, a won't it? You should talk to Loyal. I bet you could help. Yeah, Anything sure. else you want to know? Uh, how did you Once learn we restore fly? power, we learned that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. Happens to me all the time. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Uh. Oh, to flap one's arms and plunge bird-like headlong and skybound. Uh, of course, you wouldn't learn. Uh. Your attempted poetry is, uh, beautiful, certainly. But Thanks. it doesn't really work like that. Flying, I mean. Oh. Uh, I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Uh, okay, so... Don't get blown up. So I've gained some boomer fame, and I... Okay. Great. All right. Now... Now there's a few other things that I could do. I I think one of my favorite ones. There's the one about the solar array. All right, let's see what we can do here. I gotta take a look around and see what I can do. Can I repair anything? Can I punch somebody? If I could punch somebody, that would be great. That's literally the only thing I'm halfway decent at. And when I say halfway decent, I mean not really that decent. Um, but I think... I think, 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 think... Um, that I may... Be able to possibly help at the medical station? Hi, I know Argyle. Mother Crow is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patients to tend to. Okay. Um, looking for ways to make myself useful. I have useful. three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. Right. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Uh... No need to apologize. Their care is my responsibility, not yours. Thing is, everything I know came out of a first aid handbook. 
If you think you know more than that, let me know. Uh, okay. Let I have no skills. I can't help anybody. I am but a ronin. And a very stupid ronin. Okay. We're gonna go over here. And I'm gonna see if I can deal with giant insects. That's my next thing. Giant insects to the rescue. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Go up here. And see what's going on. Raquel. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. I love the privilege of not being killed. Uh, you have a bug Long problem? story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I'm gonna have to punch some ants. I led a team ants. down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Uh, I can handle a few sure, ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. Cool. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Yeah, that would be really handy, but, um... I can't do that because that would be a weapon, and I don't use weapons. Remember that whole thing? I don't use weapons, so... All right, so let's see here. Go on. Hello. Mini boomers. Hello, mini boomers. All right, let's see here. I'm going to have a boomer. Okay, boomer. You. It's a Mr. Gutsy. Uh. Where is the thing? I have so many map markers when it comes to this. <laughs> I love these deep conversations we're having. Okay. I'm just gonna keep, keep punching. Keep punching. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Is there a thing? Wait. Where do I go? Okay, there's still a map marker for Raquel. Is this who I'm supposed to see? What's the situation with the giant? Yeah, there's still the situation with the giant ants, yes. Um Where are the giant ants? Local map, please. Uh okay. I guess over this way. Can I set a map marker? Thank you. When you have a few map markers around, it gets a little bit confusing. Hi there. Bye. Hi. I see you. All right. Where are the ants? I need to find the ants. 
I need ants in my pants. Okay, that's the medical one. This is the hangar. Okay, that's the medical station. Okay, literally, where is... Okay, there's the workshop. There's a workshop? Why did I not even know about the workshop? Okay, where, where else? Where are the ants? It's Loyal's house. I could break into some places. That would be fun. I'll break in everywhere. No, I don't want to go to the hangar. No, I don't want to go to the medical station. Raquel, just tell me where the... Oh, okay. Let's see here. Oh, it's probably up the road somewhere. Uh, yes, please. Just save ourselves a little bit of time and trouble. Okay. Magic. Magic! Okay. Alright. We are going to figure out where these ants are. I need to find the ants. Are they in here? No ants. No. Oh, they're probably in one of these tents. Because, let's see, she's over there. And I believe that this is the actual array. I think it is. Hello, party people. I don't rarely come out this way. Maybe because this doesn't look very inviting. Okay, maybe I'm not going to go in there. This does not look good. Just random stuff around. Let's see here. Okay, the generator. The generator. Need to find ants. I must find ants. They exist. I know they exist. Raquel, you're not standing on the generator. Yeah, Raquel, just point me in the general direction of the thing I'd like to go and look at. Would that be possible? No, that would be way too easy. Where is the... Oh, here we are. I see it. Yep, okay, here we are. I remember now. If there's one code that I would suggest using uh, if you are playing this and you don't care too much about console codes, one thought. There's a way to increase walking speed. When we do the next run, yeah, that's going to be a thing for me. I'm doing this without any codes or anything like that, or mods, so... But, uh, yeah! Yeah, if, uh... If just in general, one thing about Fallout that I've always found is, is uh, if there's one thing, one singular thing that I would really appreciate, it's being able to move a little bit quicker uh, on ground. If I could do a Naruto run, I would absolutely appreciate that. Okay, this is the Nellis Array Generators. Okay, so before I go in here, we're just going to save real quick. Because mostly I don't see this going well. <laughs> um, I, I don't. But, you know what? We're going to try this. Okay, let's see if we can actually deal with some ants. Okay, uh, get into vats. 
Okay, that no, okay, this okay. Punch. Get him, cat. Before he hit the before the before he hits you. There. Oh no! Okay, great. See, we are in luck. What's a fallout, monk? I think you move a tad faster with your weapon down. It's true. It's true. What's a fallout, monk? That's a good question. Fallout, monk is sort of a different thing entirely. Um, so, if you know anything about D&D, &D, which I'm... Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. That's fine. Monk is one of my favorite classes. Uh, a monk does not require any weapons or equipment or anything like that. Usually benefits from not having it. So as you can see right here, I'll show you real quick. What this basically means is no weapons, no armor, no meds, no ammo, no caps, no friends. Uh, that's, that's basically what a DD and d monk ends up being. Uh, and the question that I've always had in my back of my mind is, if you didn't have any of those things, can you actually do this game? Uh, because I, I, I have bounced back and forth with whether I'm able to or not. Actually, right now it seems to be going okay. Only because the ants don't have a damage threshold. I don't either, but... Usually what happens is that the second you have anything that has even a sizable amount of damage threshold, um, you, uh, you end up with a bit of a problem. That salt carbine would be super useful, but I can't use it. Because that would ruin the whole point of this. Have to think of a D&D &D monk as sort of a challenge. Companions are cheating anyways. Thank you, t -Lu. You are absolutely right. The second you just have Veronica with a power fist, you might as well just sit back and let the game play itself. There's, there's, really, <laughs> there's really no point after that. Um, so, yeah, this is sort of a self-imposed challenge um, just because I was curious to see how the game plays. Uh, no healing items and all that is pretty rough, though. It is. I will grant you that. What it means is I have to find... I constantly have to be on the lookout for unowned beds. Because that is literally all I got going for me. The thing I still have not quite figured out, though, is what I'm supposed to do about radiation damage. Higher levels? I have ways of dealing with that. But... At present... I pretty much have to just be okay with, you know, dealing with that. Because if you don't have Rataway or Radex or anything, you're in quite a bind. Quite a bind indeed. That's the, oh yeah, the thump thump, in case you're wondering. In a normal run, that is definitely something I would be picking up and using. That is the special grenade launcher. Pretty great to have around. Uh, but, uh, again, this is on normal difficulty. I'm not that, I, I'm not, I don't hate myself so much. Uh, could get healed at a doctor for radiation. If I had the caps. No money. Yeah, there's the rub. Unless I find someone who's friendly. Uh, actually, that, if I get enough of a reputation, I think the followers... I think, I want to say it's like the followers of the apocalypse. I think they might just heal my radiation damage. Don't quote me on that because I don't really remember. Oh, get, 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 come on. Now, luckily, that still works beautifully. And I'm going to need it because I at least have... Yeah, true, no money in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I could I could try this on higher difficulty levels. I could have tried this on hardcore mode. If there's any free doctors around. Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. Um maybe the maybe one of the followers doctors. Either maybe at the, the Mormon Fort or maybe at the free clinic. I don't remember. I think they charge you for those services. Haven't really needed it yet. Um, 
But, yeah, no clue either followers patch you up for free. Yeah, again, if I had followers, that would be really helpful to know. Um, Arcade might... Arcade, uh, Arcade, who's the doctor at the followers, he might. Uh, again, don't quote me on that, because I, I, I don't always do Arcade's storyline. He, he, you don't pass by him quite as easily as some of the other characters. But um, all I really know is, yeah, I could have done this on higher difficulty levels. I could have done this on Hardcore mode. Hardcore mode, though, is what I... Mm, then you have to deal with your thirst, and your hunger, and your sleep meters, and if I break any bones... <sighs> yeah, that's, that's basically an... That's, that's a no for me. Oh. I'm out on the other side. Okie doke. Back in. I'd be out on the, uh, followers faction. I don't know what they are called in the game. Oh, oh, uh, f um, sorry. They are the followers of the apocalypse. Followers of the apocalypse, and they are the ones that hide out in the Mormon fort, sort of their base of operations. Uh, I'm not sure what games you're familiar with in the Fallout franchise. I don't think they appear in a lot of other ones. Actually, if I remember correctly, I think they appeared in some of the earlier ones that I have not played. But I don't remember them in three. Actually, they might have been in three, but they did not appear in four. Okay, so this is where things get tricky. Because now I have two soldier ants. Now, as you're gonna see, soldier ants are 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 really not fun. But ooh! Oh! Bonus! Oh no, I got off the thing! No, don't get off the thing! I don't want to get off the thing! Okay, so we're gonna have a problem now. <laughs> I was doing so well. The worker ants were not a problem. Pretty close to the end. On a silenced pistol run? Still don't know what to do about the final boss. Ah... Yes, 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 yes. Uh, in New Vegas, you're on a silenced pistol run? Because that, that is an interesting one to do. Like, that's not a bad weapon, honestly, as long as you're always doing stealth kills. If you make a stealth build, um, and you never get detected. Uh, the start was rough when there was no one selling enough ammo to kill. Yeah, it's also a little tricky to get ammo. Uh, yeah, you gotta do headshots all the time, and you gotta be in constant stealth. Besides that, you're in great shape. How to deal with the final boss. It's not so much... I'm going to assume you're not, uh, playing for Caesar's Legion, so the final boss would be Legate Lanius. If that is the case, um, yeah, New Vegas, okay. If that's the case, there is one little thing you can do, is if you've invested in speech skill. You can actually either use speech or barter, um, and then, uh, then, uh, yeah. Pretty oakly doakly weapon endless. Another glorious day in this man's army. Your enemy has a lot of armor, like Lee Gate. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem for the damage threshold, because DT really does screw with you. Um, but if you do have a 100 in either speech or barter, you can talk him down. And that, in many ways, that may be the only real way that you can do it, unless you have a lot of patience, or your RNG works in your favor, because, <laughs> because that is, uh, that's, that's kind of the only way out of it. Um, but yeah, you'll note, like, I gotta, I gotta find a bed. Yeah, my, my little avatar is crying. Uh, yeah, you got speech 100, but that's a fail-safe if I can't beat him otherwise. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, with just the pistol. Um, thought, random thought, do you have stealth boys? 
I only say that because I'm thinking to myself, now that you're mentioning this, if you had some stealth boys and you could stay uh, a lot of stim packs and a lot of ammo, yeah. Uh, if you do have stim uh, uh, stealth boys, though, you, you might be able to get enough stealth hits on them that your damage multiplier would kick in and you might be able to do some serious damage to him before he notices you. Um, Lanius is always one of those problems, for me at least, where I kind of... I usually just try to speech check that. Uh, I love the fact that the game gives you the option to do it. Um, a lot of pistols, because they break down pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh... It's, it's enemies like Lanius that kind of make you think that you need, like, really require to have a high-damage weapon in your arsenal, like an anti-material rifle. But, um, yeah, with the silenced pistol, oof, I don't know. Did Mitten Squad do that at some point? I want to say that, I want to say he did. And I don't remember exactly how. It's the, the problem with Lanius is always going to be that he has surrounded by just a metric ton of other enemies and you can't reason with them. They are they are not going to be your friends no matter how much you want them to be. And um because of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm expecting shooting him in the face for like 20 minutes straight and all of his friends. Yeah, there's going to have to be some saving you do. You're really going to have to do some saving there, because the thing about it is, is that, uh, it, yeah, when I'm doing anything difficult like that, uh, I know it's kind of, it's kind of saves coming, but <laughs> it's what made me want to try it, too. Yeah, Mitten Squad. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I was like, yeah, 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 no, I think I remember Mitten Squad doing that at some point. Um, as far as, I don't think he's done exactly what I'm doing now, um, but I do... I mean, this is probably close to the equivalent of doing, like, the Can You Beat Skyrim with a fork. The thing about it is, is that I also said I don't want to wear armor. Uh, but, I do have more than one hit point. <laughs> yeah, there's like eight or so of the Ballistic Fist fellow. I hate them. Uh, yeah, the Ballistic Fist. See, if I was actually doing this with just unarmored weapons... Yeah, get myself a Ballistic Fist. That one-two punch special weapon, if I could buy it outright and everything. Yeah, do that, and then I'd be all set. Yeah, nah, he hasn't done this kind of... this kind of run. Well, give him time. He probably will at some point. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back to hit some ants. Right now, I actually, uh... I need to heal up for a second. Uh, I think I know why he hasn't tried this kind of a run. Uh, as, as you can tell, it's... Uh... Alright. It's not easy. There's so many things that... I mean, at least what I think is really interesting about doing stuff like this, where you're just like, yeah, I'm not going to utilize a lot of the systems that are in the game. You start to ask yourself, like, how do I get around situations that I would normally just, like, straight up uh, do in, in a traditional way. And you have to think that through. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, if you have unarmed, if you've tapped out your unarmed skill, and you have, like, the high answer, oh yeah, you are, you are a walking death machine. Um... Ballistic or the Power Fist. Yeah, the Power Fist is good. Um, I like the Displacer gu Glove, too. Especially if you get, like, pushy. That's always fun, because you get to see people just knock back a lot. But, yeah, it's hard to beat the Ballistic Fist. I mean, they literally, they took a shotgun, and they put it on the fist. <laughs> and that's just, that's just great all around. I mean, that's just excellent. Um, okay, I'm going to see if I can't finally hit these... Stupid things. Let's see here. Now, the one nice thing here is I've gone and rested, and these guys still have the health that they had before. That's very. Pl this isn't Dark Souls. Oh my god, can you imagine Dark Souls Fallout? I don't want to think about that too much.
Come on. Come on, yet. This ant is not going to be my friend. I'm gonna run away. The healing system can be. 100% cheese wheels. <laughs> Fixes every wound. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank God enemies don't heal up. Yeah, uh, there are there are games that I absolutely um, that a absolutely lose me just because I don't know if you've experienced this, Tilu, but I know that when I was playing, I think Greedfall was the last one that did it. You ever have the enemies that are just really really powerful, um, and you're fighting them, and everything seems like they're going really great, but then um, they get outside of the sphere that they normally are in. And they, uh, they, they, they then like go, oh, well, I'm outside the sphere I'm in, and they go back to where they were, and they just regenerate all of their health, and you're like, well, hold, hold on, hold on a second there. As far as I'm aware, <laughs> we are not done with what we are doing here. Uh, I've done a lot of challenging things in Dark Souls, but this is the first time I'm trying something hard in Fallout. I mean, the thing is, Dark Souls is hard enough honestly as as it really should be assuming that you're playing by yourself although when I originally went to play Dark Souls Remastered because I'm not a huge Souls person not a huge Souls person but I was like you know I'll play it I did play as I want to say it was the the decrepit whatever it is that like starts you off with nothing and I felt so, so, so underpowered. Um, but, I mean, I did it. For a bit. I, I got, I got pretty far in. Then some shrub monsters kept killing me, and I was not having fun anymore, so... So that happened. In other news, I finally killed those damn soldier ants. Mm. Yeah, that sounds cheap. Yeah. It should... Yeah, yeah that was... That was, um... Something about Greedfall. Luckily, Greedfall's not too difficult to get. If I just keep moving forward and backwards a whole lot... <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uppercut, uppercut, and... Yeah, let's try that. Oh my god, these soldier ants. Thank God for Field Shack. <laughs> oh, oh, a critical, a critical strike. Okay. Oh, come. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that's that's the ranger. Oh, excellent. Hey, that's the ranger takedown. Cool. That worked out great. Oh no! <laughs> oh! Saving grace! Okay, yeah, come at me! Oh, Ranger take the. Okay. Oh, I am going to be spamming the heck out of this move. Oh, no! Oh, okay. Oh no! I gotta run. Replaying by the end, starting limit things. Yeah, I mean, Dark Souls is definitely a game that you can have a lot of fun in. Um, but, uh, uh, me personally, I, I always... What happened to me the time I played the Dark Souls, right, is, um, you know how there are the little messages on the ground? I'm sure you're familiar with all of that. There are messages on the ground. Well, I get to... I get to a, uh, a spot that looks like just an open cliff face. Just an open cliff face. And there's a little message on the ground that's like, try jumping. And I'm thinking to myself, no one would be that cruel. No one would be that cruel. So I jump. And I die. I'm like, I no longer trust Nothing these messages. I no longer trust these messages at all. 
So after that, I stopped paying attention to what the little helpful hints were. Um, <laughs> okay, granted, okay, this ranger takedown is excellent, and I love this so much. <laughs> Okay. Come on, come on. Ah. There. Uh, oh. Oh. No, while you're down. Cliff kills you, you know. Well, here's the thing. Okay, so so here you go. Um, I thought to myself, maybe there's an invisible bridge. Like, I thought to myself, okay, maybe the developers of Dark Souls watched a whole lot of, uh, you know, like, Indiana Jones. Right? And so there's an invisible bridge off here, or there's like a, there's like a ledge underneath this that has a secret or something. Like, I don't know. I thought to myself, that would make sense. That would be cool. For the record, no. That doesn't that doesn't work. Um I kinda need repair. Uh and secret ahead in front of any difficult different looking wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they want you to go yeah. Spend ten minutes. Looking at a wall, <laughs> and you're going to be in great shape. Um, oh, gee. I'm going to take educated because I need all the skill points I can get at this point. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I learned very quickly that you kind of have to be careful about people who leave messages in the Dark Souls. It usually ends badly. Um, so, there aren't a ton of uh, Souls like games that I've played. Yeah, sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm glad that somebody else knows the feeling. Um, the, the only ones that I. My first experience with the Souls like genre was the original uh, Demon Souls, not the remake or anything, but the when it originally came out, was Demon Souls, and oh boy, I, I didn't want to play the genre after that, I was, that, that game is, that game is hard, that is a, that is a hard game, it's the only game that, like, says, hey, you died, okay, well, when you come back, it's gonna be harder ah! now, oh, wow, the problem is, these, these things come in twos, <laughs> Every single time, but the Ranger takedown is very useful. Yeah, come at me, bro. Did they follow me out the door? I don't think so. Something's... Or a nice jump off a cliff, yeah. A lot of messages, single spot tends to mean there's something interesting there. It, yeah, because you don't imagine that there's that many people who hate you. But then again... You never know. Now that I know how to pull off this ranger takedown, though, this is this is way better. I'm definitely spamming this move for anyone who tries to do a direct attack on me. Because uh, <laughs> that's terrific. I um, just need to go around here and see if I can find that other door. Because that's where the ants are. As long as you can keep getting to a bed, 
there are some sections where I'm sure it's going to be harder. Oh my god, when I have to get to the camp. The Leggett's camp. Ugh, it's gonna be... It's going to be annoying. I'm just gonna keep hitting this ant. And one day... Okay, I'm gonna go backwards. Oh my god, no. Ready? There, okay. Okay, this is good. Don't kill me. Okay, they 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 killed me. They killed me. They 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 killed me. Okay. Back in the action. Just 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 go down. I this this would be this would be so much easier if there was only one ant. I don't know why I've been through this area and all of a sudden there are just two soldier ants. Why why why? Just why? I ask you because there, it doesn't make sense that all of a sudden there are just two ants. I could do this way easier if there was like Okay, yeah. Okay, come at me. Come at me, because I'm going to do... I'm going to do... Oh! Angel bump. Yeah. Uh... Well, I almost did that. Uh... Wait, return. Let me... I'm just gonna uppercut him a bunch. Uppercut. You ever fight an ant and think to yourself, I need to uppercut... Just rotate around. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Critical strike, yes. Okay, okay. But now we got a we got a bit of a problem. <laughs> GG ant. Thanks for giving support behind the ant. The ant deserves it though. The ant the ant was a formidable opponent. I, <laughs> Field Shack is a miracle. I'm I'm so glad that this thing exists because otherwise I would not be a happy camper. Uh <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get this ant. The, there are two ants. Please tell me there's no worse ants. I really I can't. I I'm gonna have to try to get as many points just try to max out on arms. Because that does improve your actual uh, damage, but um, but my goodness. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, come on. There, and we've successfully destroyed those ants. Simple, easy, understandable, not difficult at all. It does make me start thinking to myself, like, geez, if I literally had anything with me right now, just anything, just any weapon, any armor, anything, this would be so easy. Like, this would be very, very easy right now. Um... I gotta turn, or if I had whatever Loyal's thing was, I hear something. Thank you. I hear something? 
like an ant? Couldn't possibly be. There's no, there's no ants here. There's no ants. Ants aren't, ants aren't around. Ants don't exist. I know because I have killed them all. It would be interesting to try this in the DLCs too. Oh my god, if you had to do this with dead money. God. Oh no, Old World Blues. I don't want to deal with the stuff in Old World Blue. Oh, hey, here's another one. Okay. Hey, you. Okay. Just smack. Smack. The problem I know that's going to happen is there's probably another ant. Right? Yes, of course. There's always two ants. There. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, come at me. Come at me. Okay. So, you two suck, and I hate you very much. Uh. Okay, yeah, okay. Moving backwards, there, yeah, okay. Okay, now, now... You said you were... Oh, oh, where are you in the main questline trilogy? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good question. So, I'm, uh, as you can see, I kind of took a little bit of a detour over toward Nellis just to see if I could do the, get to the boomers and everything. I have not gotten into the strip yet. That's actually the thing I'm trying to work at, um, because I need to get enough skills where I would be able to bypass the whole thing where I need to pay to get into the strip. So, I have a couple options, likely, ahead of me. Uh, one is to try and go to Camp McCarran and disarm that bomb, which I don't have skills enough to do right now, or to see if the king can help me out, but my speech skill isn't quite high enough to do that. So, I kind of need to raise through my ranks. Unfortunately, um, it's been a, a little bit... Normally, I would be able to do a few of these quests, like, I could probably, at this point, I think I'm in good enough shape that I could probably go back to Prim and take care of, like, Prim stuff and get some XP from that. Uh, but that's the only reason. I wouldn't want to deal with those 50 cal locals in the Burning Man DLC. You, yep. Um, I'll tell you, once you, um... The, once you get to the Lonesome Road part, you need all the help you can get. Because that, that, they are not kidding around. I was like, uh, you can do that when you're at like level 35, 40, after you've done like all the other things. You could be 45. You can have Enclave armor on. I can have an anti-material rifle. I can be tapped out. And those burning, those burning men will still likely uh, hand you your buttocks. And, uh, yeah. They're, they're, they're not fun, and I don't like them, and I do not approve. Uh, yeah, because they, they hit for serious damage. Serious, serious damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Rage and take that. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Just stand next to a wall. You take the monorail. Yeah. That's, uh, that is my plan. So I went thinking to myself that I'll just do the put put a spell on you just so that I can get into the strip real quick. And I was like, okay, this is going to work great. Then, had a little bit of a uh, hiccup because uh, with just your unarmed damage, when I was like level 2 or 3, um, Wager Prim would be fine now. Uh, what with 60 and unarmed? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I could go ahead and do that. Maybe after I take care of this, this Boomer's Quest line. Um... The thing about it is, for put a spell on you, which is a, a great quest, and I, I really do want to 
do it. Um, the guy that's in the communication room, okay, he has he has like actual NCR armor on, so it is very very difficult to take him on. Uh, and it, you know he has I think he has a deactivation code on him, so you could kill him and and take that. The other thing that you can do is you can go and if you have high enough either explosives or I want to say it's repair, you can also just deactivate the bomb. I, however, do not have high enough skill in either of those categories, and because of that little setback, uh, there's no way for me currently to disarm that bomb. Little bit of an issue, um, but I think that's kind of what I'm going to be working on. Only a couple guys in the first floor. Yeah, it's when you get into that main room I get worried about. Because uh, all of them seem to be more than happy to, to hand you, again, your buttocks. I'm going to get next to a wall. Here. Can you, can you reach me? Come on. Come on up. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there we go. One at a time, this is actually not very hard. Because, thank you, Ranger Takedown. <laughs> Go! Mm. I killed all of them in the rain. Oh, hey, sweet! Look at me, I actually did something. I feel so accomplished now. Okay, let's get out of here. Look at that, folks. It's pretty great. Only a couple guys on the floor. Yeah, and I'd really like to take them out. And I can also meet uh, Prim Slim. I like Prim Slim. Okay, I'm going to just get out of here. And what's the easiest way to get to... I'm, I'm just going to go back here, because this is probably the easiest way to get to Raquel. You don't have to point that at Hello. me. All right, I'm going to go talk to Raquel, tell her that, yay, I actually destroyed these ants for her. She'll be so thrilled. And I could probably do Valari. All I have to do is just bypass the Mirelurk Kings. Or the Lake Lurks. They're Lake Lurks in this. Where? Oh, you're over there. Uh... Yeah, and the other way probably requires NCR armor or rep to get a free ride into the monorail, which uh, obviously would mean that I have to have equipment on. There is another thing, though, that I think you can do if you needed to, and that's if you can get in, if you have a speech skill high enough that you can go and speak to the Morning. king. Uh, I only now learned that Prince Slim, after like 300 hours <laughs> of New Vegas, it's amazing the things What's that the you find out with about. The giant ants? I love the howdy-do robots. Uh, they are all dead. If that's so, why isn't the power back on? Always Remember an NCR how I told you to or power skip up the, the whole generators when the ants are dead? Looks like you've still you got some work left it. to do. Well, gee. Oh, I see what the, I I I know what her problem is. I need to turn the arrays back on now. Um, but there is another thing that you can do. If you get a pass into the strip and the, the king in uh, Freeside, check all... Oh, I gotta check... Oh my god, I gotta check plugs now. I need a repair of 65 or higher. Of course I need a repair of 65 or higher. Why wouldn't I? Hello, DC! Hello, hello. Gotta flip the switches. Oh, right! Another. There's switches in here I gotta flip, aren't there? Now the question is, can I easily locate them? I really hope so. There's, a. Uh... Oh my god, ant eggs. Repair our parts. Yeah. 
I don't think there are any switches in here. This is one I'm going to have to table because my repair skill is not high enough. And I don't have solar array parts. I did not go to Helios 1. Would I be able to use repair parts? I guess that that's... I guess I could say that solar repair parts were a mission critical item. Possibly. I can't help you with your medical problem so far. But you know what I could do? Uh, find out from Manny Vargas where the cons were headed, inquire about your delivery assignment. Um, oh, the other thing I never did, I never did Boulder City. That's something I definitely want to do. Because I'm kind of all over the place right now. What is this? That's the abandoned book. Leaving all that sweet loot on the shell. Oh. I'll tell you, the thing that hurts the most about saying that you're not going to do anything with equipment is not picking things up. You could literally just be on god mode. But the idea that you are leaving all of this stuff just lying around hurts so very much. Um, Alright. Uh, going back to my happy. How many runs have you done in New Vegas? Um, I'm uh, not this, I have probably played through New Vegas to the end at least four? Probably at least four times. I think the longest time in run with a character that I ever did was 130 or 140 hours uh, when I was trying to do just everything. Um, but I've tried a few other things. Once I actually tried, um, something, maybe I'll do it on stream at some point, but, uh, the very interesting idea of just the, the Scorched Earth run, which is basically just anything that moves, you shoot it. And it's, it's interesting because you get to see if the game still works. But, uh, you know. Yes, t -Lu is, uh, doing a Silence Pistol run, which is great, uh, it's not, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> sure, I know him. What do you want with him? Uh, he has something. You talking him. about that chip? Man, I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Always Maybe does. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Oh, boy. Are Novak, you gonna... it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road Junk's from the great. old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Oh, selling all of your government ammo. Oh, I love getting the medicine stick. It's like one of my favorites. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. And then it's just trying to get all of the ammunition that you can. Uh, why didn't you deal with it? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. That is something. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Oh, you want to see what happens when you try to box a Deathclaw? I, ca I can show you. I What happened was, in, in the, um... In part one, I said to myself, Meh! What the heck? I'll try going north to get to Ve to New Vegas, and of course you run across the uh, you run across the mines where all those death claws are, and thought to myself, sure, let's just try punching a death claw. Not advisable, uh, but I can show you what happens actually after I talk to Manny. Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, this that's that's um Yeah. I love the come fly with me quest line for the record, but there is no way I'm gonna be able to take the nightkin in this current state. It's just not there I'm just not gonna be able to do But anyway. So yeah, where, um, where are we here? Del Rey Motel. 
Uh, Canton, I want to say, is right around here-ish. So, uh, yeah, I can show you exactly what it's like if you want to box a death claw. Um, it's actually over this way. This is a this is a terrible area to be playing around in generally because this is where you're gonna get into some lovely scorpions. Oh yes, there's a scorpion. For the record, you do not want to deal with rad scorpions if you do not have a ranged weapon. You were just going to ask for trouble. And I, it's no sooner did I say that as the music changes. My health is about half of what it should... Oh, there's more of those rad scorpions. Okay, so this is where we have to be a little cheesy. I'm being followed by a couple rad scorpions, I know that. And fighting them isn't an option. Well, fighting them can be an option, but it's not the optimal option. Uh, you can actually, you, you could just go around and, I know because I've tried it before, but you, it's not what the game would prefer you to do. Um, you just end up fighting the last, uh, guy. Oh, okay, the Powder Gangers are taking care of that problem for me. Thank you very much, Powder Gangers. I appreciate it. Um... I am wondering if I can actually go through this road now. I'm level 4. I'm totally, I'm totally able to deal with this stuff. Hi, Chomps. Up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. I learned that the hard way. Actually, one of the best things is if you try it in a normal run. If you go over the cliffs on the very, very, like, uh, west end of the map, then try dealing with the Cazadors. Uh, where'd they come from? They moved from? into the quarry after the Powder Gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the Death Claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Uh... Have you ever seen a death claw? I will check. They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And there's a whole pack of them out there. Don't I know You'd it. You'd have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland to have any chance against them. And I don't think that's you. You need to take out the pack leaders. He's not wrong. Death Claw and the Death Claw Alpha Male. Those two. Kill them and the pack will scatter. Pretty tough job. Yeah. The, no. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go. If you. I will go see uh -huh. Snuffles. And I will see if I can repair. I don't know my medical. My medical's not great. Hi Snuffles. Uh, your leg appears to be injured. Uh, nah. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> How's it going? Get hi, Snuffles. Oh, they'll let me try it again. Okay, well, no, my medical, my medical skill needs to be thirty. Well, that's possible. It's doable. It requires some med. It's thirty. Yeah, uh, I had to be reminded of it too, unfortunately. Big surprise. Yeah, the generator's not working, so there's that. Now, there is something I could, of course, try, is uh, see if I can just lure these nice little death claws uh, to somebody who might actually be able to shoot them, but I'm telling you right now that that's probably not going to work. Um, so, as we approach the, uh, the, the death... Okay. So, so here's what happens when you try to punch a death claw. Ha! Oh, hey, that worked. Okay. As you can see, I'm doing absolutely nothing to the death claw. Except probably. Oh, stomp. Just stomp him a bunch. Can I stomp? I. Stop. Stop. Okay. So, as you can see, this, this is not going great. 
But if I can, if I can ranger take that. Yeah, so, so the lesson is, do not attack a Deathclaw, unless you hate I do love the Ranger takedown, though. But again, I can't, I can't do any damage. <laughs> run away! Run away! I gotta run away. Yeah. I don't think this guy's have a chance against the Deathclaw. Um, oh no. There's another Deathclaw. I don't think I'm gonna be able to yeah, that's a baby. It's a baby death claw. And he's and he is definitely following me. And uh he's gonna try to get me. And there's more death claws, and my my health is not existent. And there's there's what happens. That's by the way what happens when you try to take on death claws. I mean, on the one hand, the death claws are gonna uh negate your damage threshold anyway. So it doesn't matter that my damage threshold is literally negative two. But, but, um, not having a ranged weapon <laughs> to deal with them. And generally, uh, not, uh, being able to deal with, uh, really anything is, is a problem. And those, yeah, there's, there's so many. Oh my god. Okay, so what we're gonna try doing here. What we're gonna try doing. We'll we'll try this one more time and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna just kinda ah! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, if I stand next to this post. Okay, if I stand next to the post. Okay, yeah. See if I Okay, I got a critical strike, and it still did absolutely no damage. When he charges, I'm gonna do a power attack. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Again, he, he, he really... Okay, back up here. Chomps! Go, chomps! Go for it. Chomps, earn your keep! Chomps! Okay. Okay, now that- Now I can help you. Not much, but I can help you. <laughs> About no damage, yeah. Armor doesn't matter, but yeah. Oh no! Well, Chomps is dead. And- and so- and so is he. And, uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go back and see. Everybody, hello, hi. Yeah, can you uh, can you help me out here? Anybody? Snuffles, Snuffles, help me out. I'm gonna run around. You shoot him. You do your best. Look, you're trying your hardest. Maybe? Maybe? Oh! Alright, well that kinda worked. I mean... I mean, I got- I got no health and I got no experience points for that. And, um... And Chomp- Chomps is dead. Um... So, so yeah, um, oopsie, yeah, so anyway, uh, <laughs> that was a bad idea, um, so, so anyway, yeah, and so just, just for the record, um, that's what happens, I'm actually gonna just reload <laughs> I hate the fact that Chomps died, um, but, uh, <laughs> I hate the fact Chomps was trying to be like, you know, it's gonna be really hard for you to deal with these guys. It's like, not if I let them run into you. 
Uh, but I will try, I will actually try Prim. And he can't even wear his hard hat. I know. There are so many things I'm angry about. Okay. So these guys are, okay, yeah. They're going to try to, to use their guns to, okay. Escape convict. Okay, I'm going to try to uppercut these guys into oblivion and see what happens. That did nothing. Okay, yep. Yeah, actually, that's not bad. Um, okay, I'm just gonna wait for a second here. They're gonna come around the corner. Yeah, you come to me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There. That's right. Deal with it. I just have to lure them into a false sense of security. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Uh, yes. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Howdy. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I work for the Mojave. Yeah. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? I'll show oh, you the delivery order. So you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Some men stole my package. Their well, Chandler no, had a thing. A few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of them shot me, and it was not pleasant. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Oh, yeah. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Uh, what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that oh, kind of Oh, the cowboy stuff. robot. Last word I have in the office. Victor. It looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat huh. we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. And that was, uh, I'm, I know who he was. It was no Ulysses. No idea. But... Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he, he thought your name was bad luck. Uh, not for me to say. He just was never a f fan. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. Victor. And he talked more like you or me. All right. Don't go. All right. So I'm going to just put this down for a second. Howdy. Where's Prim Slim? Here's Prim Slim for you. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Get along, little doggies. Who were Where they? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Top five. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Yeah, tell me everything Yahoo! about it. I ain't had a chance to tell that tale in a mess of years. 
First things first. Yeehaw! Any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vans being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. <sighs> Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now, true. Who wore it Vicky and Vans didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shopping. <laughs> Check cashing fraud and gas pump dry bars. <laughs> but crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's More likely. It's said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. <laughs> All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Happy trails, partner. Yeah, there's nothing here. And I can't really, I can ask Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Music. Okay. You know that's missing, Just you right? on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece, that gun. Mint it's not condition. there. Never fire. It's not there. Oh, I don't have a science. It's, it's have missing. Have you gone local, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. The gun is still. It's not gonna Amateur. matter. It's not gonna matter. Okay. Um. Howdy. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Um. Okay. So what I gotta do now is uh find myself a bed. Hey there. Vicky and Vance Casino. Yeehaw. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to find myself a bed. My hit points are very low, but never fired. Yep. <laughs> I love that she was gonna go and cash a bad check. That was like the major crime she was gonna commit. Alright, let's see here. Okay, Sheriff, hi. Can I, um, if I could just sleep in the bed for one second, <laughs> just move over a little bit for me, thank you. That's great, thank you, thank you. Okay, all right. I'm upset about not being able to sleep on a couch in this. I know, right? Talk about lack of realism. You should be able to sleep on a couch. Found you. Well, of course you did. You just literally, I Come walked. On. Okay. Okay. Listen. Listen, you. You're gonna get. You're gonna get smacked. You're gonna get smacked. That's right. Oh yeah. I'm hit. I'm yeah, hit. and you just want to sit there. Oh, oh Come no. On. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you've given up compl- Hey! Wait, what? Excuse me? Or I'll just recover all my health. Jeez. Okay, yeah. Well, now you're in uppercut territory, buddy. Uppercut territory. Uppercut! <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, a piece of cardboard does count as a bed. Couches, no. I don't have a lockpick. <laughs> frizzle, frazzle, frizzle, frizzle, frazzle.
Okay. So. What was that? That was me just frizzle frazzling. How did he just heal? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he must have been sitting down to get a stim pack or something, and then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, what? Hold it a second. Here's a couch I can't sleep on. Hey! I don't, I don't know why I have any stealth skill. There should, I, I should not have tried. I thought to myself, maybe stealth would help me out. It does not. <laughs> yeah, he just, he, yeah, he just straight up healed himself. He got a bunch of sweet rolls. I'm, I'm chucking it up to, there's a bunch of, oh, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, well, that was brilliant. That was terrific. That's amazing. I love that so much. Just, okay, okay, he literally, feel free to continually blow each other up, that, that's great, oh, stop gaining health, I am not in a good spot right now. I'm gonna save that again because it's it's going it's going okay for me. I'm gonna go see if they've effectively blown themselves up. Okay, they blew themselves up. They blew themselves up. Except for that guy. Maybe I'm just jumpy. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna walk up behind you. You like that? You like that? Get up. Okay. That was sweet. Best unintended consequence possible. Lord, those grenades out. Yeah! The grenades just come in! I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm totally taking it. Okay, Deputy Beagle, hi. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you have some information lady, for me. I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Yeah. Uh, HP check. I'll give you an HP check in a second. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just Did go. I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms, and see you outside. <laughs> It's been, it's been a joy. HP check. Uh, I can give you that. 13. The number is 13. All of 13. Uh, so. You're at that. Oh, a bed. Now. <laughs> Now it's 315. <laughs> um, I am going to have to... Okay.
I am gonna go... So, 12 to spare. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah! Oh yeah, I had 12. Yeah, no problem. This isn't a one hit point run. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Um, alright, I'm gonna have to go talk to Beagle and try to convince him to just stay in town. Or, you can reprogram, uh, what's-his-face. If you had enough repair or computer skill. I think your computer skill would be useful. Because every time I hack those terminals, that's XP. Let's go talk to Beagle, now that he has run away. Now that he has run away, where, Beagle, where, where are you? Beagle? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? You didn't Breaking do anything. out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. You did, you Problem didn't is, do anything. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. You... What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Well, I mean, you're the sheriff oh, no. now. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. But, okay. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. Oh, no. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Uh, okay. I will, I will you do will. something. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across yeah, the do. road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Uh, yeah, everyone's constantly pointing a gun at me. Hi! Don't point a gun at me, please! So, so there's a couple things that you can do for this quest. If I had, um, what's my repair skill? Is it anything good? 25. Checking on something. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Uh, using three... Uh, oh, try to repro... Oh, damn it. I just need ten science. Okay, I need ten science. Aperture. I need more science. I need all the science. Okay. So, all right. Having not gotten any science, since I don't have that, I'm going to have to look for alternative ways to do this. Um, I can have the NCR take it. It's fine. Maybe I can convince... No. Oh, jeez. Mm. You know, this is the reason why... Okay, actually, I can... Just... There. Ah! Ow! Did I pick this up? Yeah, drop that. <laughs> there, somebody can use that mine if they want. Damn. Uh, NCR wants you to jump through some hoops from what I remember. We're going to check because I usually don't do this. Honestly. Um, yeah, there are. I actually went over the railing the last time I did the mine thing. It works out fine. But yeah. hey, it's... What, 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 hi. Hi. Prim needs you. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. You don't have a lot of ability to do things. What do you need? What we need more than anything is bodies. 
If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. You're very Night right, to you, Luke. May be able to help. I do have to do some hoops. Uh, oh, the Mojave? Oh, uh, have yeah. Have you gotten us in? Uh, who should Knight. I talk to? Okay. Ma'am. Well, I, I did help Knight. Uh, okay, one, one second. One second. I might have a solution here. Knight. All right, I'll go talk to Knight. I have helped them out with the couple little things that they did, the ants on the road and checking out um, Nipton. So I should be able to just talk to Knight and see if maybe I'm in the good graces enough to do this. Hi, Knight. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. Mmm. Prim. Prim? A's units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Uh... I'd like to help, but we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Uh... I've helped out around here, sending troops to sort fortify the NCR. I see the, in the wisdom region. in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Yay! Okay. Uh, anything I can help around here? More than you already have? Might want to ask around, but truth is, you've already helped out a lot in the short time you've been here. Ma'am? Yeah, I've dropped the mine. For the web, for for the record, mine is gone. It's what happens when you hit the button too many times. It wasn't like I was going to use the mine. I swear I wasn't going to use the mine. I might have thought about it for five seconds. All right, now to go back and hopefully not run into any other mines. I'm going to go talk to Hayes. See if the NCR can't deal with this problem for me. My optimal solution, honestly, the optimal solution is really to have... Well, is, is, is either to go free the actual sheriff sheriff from the place. But I actually like to reprogram uh, print and slim... That's always fun. Usually the quickest solution, too. But I'll go get his. Hey. Um, no, 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 no. Get back up. Get back up. I'm not... Today. Yeah? I got extra support. Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff, and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. Perfect. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Well, that seems great. <laughs> okay, let me, let me think about that, Ma though, because I know that that's not going to go over well. Um, all I need to do is just raise one level. Hitting a button too many times is pretty easy to do when the mind is beeping right in front of your face. Yeah, no, no kidding. <laughs> That's the thing. I usually can just do it, but it's like, no, I just want the mind to not be doing that because right now I got to I got to sleep a little bit. Okay. On hardcore mode, this would be so annoying because what I I my limb gets broken and then I'm just in dire straits. But anyway, in case in case you need something NCR trooper, there's a mine you could take the take the mine. Uh. If only I had a few more skill points, I could just make Primslin the person in charge. Ask her. I'll just have the NCR take. 
I'll just do it. I don't have a lot of great options in front of me at the moment. Hey, Hayes, did you go to sleep again? No! No, Hayes, no! Hayes? 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 Yeah? It's almost worth it to keep getting you out of bed. Yeah, let's... That ranger squad is still standing by, and McGee is anxious to take over as sheriff. Are you ready for me to make the call? Yeah, Roger. let's do it. Okay. I'll radio them over now. Of course, the irony is that now I have enough points that I could actually make Prim Slim the... On Hardcore, you get crippled, and yeah, you probably die of hunger. <laughs> yep. And I couldn't even keep the canteen that they give you at the beginning. I had to... I had to dump, because this is Ultimate Edition, I had to dump everything that they gave me at the front. So, that's all in a box in, um, Doc Mitchell's house. Uh, okay, so... There are so many things that I could do right now. I have how many points? I have 15 skill points. Mm. I need so many things. <laughs> I really do. Um, to get onto the strip, I'm going to, oh, shoot. Hold on one second. I need to check on something. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there are two potential skills that I need in order to deal with the tram, and I don't remember what they are. Uh, 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 yeah. A canteen. Yes! So if you have the Ultimate Edition, while I'm doing this, I'll explain that. While, when you have the Ultimate Edition, there is a special uh, Survivor's Canteen that gets put into your inventory immediately along with all the other premium DLC, and the canteen you will just occasionally take a sip off of, and it will allow you to hydrate. So, yeah. I've just been drinking water I've found for the last couple hardcore runs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the canteen was one of those pre-order bonuses that's now just included in everything. Uh, a pair of explosives. Yeah, uh, but I don't remember the numbers. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, is uh, my explosive skill is, is terrible, and um, I think it's repair, and now I just want to know what... Is the do, 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 can, yeah? You can either uh, report back to upon reporting back to Shu, and uh, as he was the leader, uh, it will be revealed that there's a bomb on the train. Right. So with the monorail destroyed, there is uh, yeah. Okay. Offer help. I'm going to just assume that. Okay, Crenshaw, great. Quest stages, no, I don't want that. Okay. The explosion of which... Okay. Well, considering my explosive skill is terrible, I'm gonna have to invest in the repair... skill. Pretty sure that that's going to be good. I might as well. 40 in repair should be good for now. We'll find out. I hate to do this when I don't remember exactly what it is. Yeah. He is fit. Yeah, leave the activation code. Uh, yeah, they don't tell me. Thanks. I'm going to just assume that 40 in a repair skill is going to be enough so that I can complete this quest. 
I'm going to make that assumption. Maybe that is a false assumption. I don't really know. I don't know for sure. Um, but I'm going to try anyway. What is the time right now? It is two in the morning? Two in the morning. Uh, I put spell on you. Okay. So, I'm going to see if we can finally do this monorail. Yeah, my explosive skill, unfortunately, is so terrible right now. It's like 17. I, I, I don't think I can do much of anything with it. Um... But I'm gonna see. Unfortunately, this guy that's up in the tower, I know I can't, like... Maybe I can. I don't know for a fact. Uh, science skill of 45. Ah, shoot. Thank you. My science skill is what? What is my science skill? Twenty. That that's not that's not enough. My science skill is not enough. But you know what I might be able to do? I'm not ruling this out yet, is that I might be able to use my special ranger takedown move to uh maybe destroy him? I also can repair those um, arrays, I believe, if I have a 40 in repair. I, I did, I done did remember wrong, and it isn't repair. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, I need repair anyway. I, I was just trying to figure out the optimal thing to put my 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 stuff into originally, but it's it's fine. Because what's... I'm just... Okay. He's not, he's not here right now. What time is it? Okay, it's six. Alright, so we're just going to... Okay. I've got to... Twenty hours? Let's see here. Uh, nineteen. Because it's gonna be—it's gonna have to be about one o'clock. You can probably beat him up. Yeah, he—he's got armor, which is gonna be a problem for me. I—I I could like the last time I tried this, I attempted it. It did not work that well. But now that I know how to effectively use Ranger Takedown, I might be able to just keep knocking him on the ground. I don't know if this is going to work. This may end up being a terrible, terrible idea, but you know what? That's why we do these things. This is for experimentation purposes only. Okay. Oh, I need to wait another hour. I'm just gonna... Don't mind me. I'm just sitting here. Okay, now we should be able to do. I really Lupa, hope I can. This is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at thirteen hundred. Have them mind that stretch. If you have that silenced pistol, this is where you just pop. Roger, them. Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. Ten four. Keep us updated. Ten four. What are you doing here? You don't have. I have clearance I don't know for kitchen. mean. Over here. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Stay down. Uh. 
Oh, okay. No! I very much don't! Please stop doing that. Okay. Stop! Stop him a whole budge! Stop! Stop! The <laughs> Guys, I don't... Okay. Okay. Can you just... Can you just... Oh my god. For the record, no. Apparently, I can't. Uh, no, that's no, that's a quitter's mentality. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at thirteen hundred. Have them mind that. This is quitter's. That's a quitter's attitude. Try it one more time. If if he just didn't have the pistol and I could do this like up front, I could do this. Will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. Ten four. Keep us updated. Ten four. All right. What are you doing here? You don't have. Cl uh. Really? And how would you know where I'm supposed to be? Or someone's been breaking in here. I don't know here. what you mean. Hey. You like that? Okay. Just, just. Okay. Okay. Like. Uh, okay. I wish I had an attack that would. Okay. Err. Yeah, just, I need to position myself. There. Okay, now, maybe. Just, just stay down. You like that? Oh my god, just stay down. Curtis. You like Okay, well. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Alright. So. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna rewind here for a second. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to come back with a way, 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 way better. Better skill there. Um. But hey, you know what I bet I can do now? I bet I can fix these arrays. No, can't do that either. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Another glorious day in this man. Yeah, it uh, it definitely makes you uh, it definitely makes you reevaluate some things. Um, okay, so other other options. I've done prim. That worked out pretty great. I'm happy about that. I cannot do that lucky old son. Oh, now Boulder City though. Um, where is Boulder City? I'm realizing I passed right by Boulder City. That's actually a really... It's really an easy one. Let me try one other thing, though. Because there is one other potential way you can deal with this. And, uh, that is... That is to see if the king will give you some help. Now... I'm gonna go to Freeside, and uh, I I think I need to pass a speech check. Oh, you like that? Again, no. I don't know why you think I would like that at all. Okay, let's just let's smash, smack the thug. Oh, great. Okay, come at me. There. Yeah. Up there. Okay. I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, near the 11888 training post. 
it's weird because I know that Boulder City is like supposed to be one of the main things, but I, you know how few times in a run I ever end up actually encountering it. It's it, can it, can it is very it very house. rare. The fellows at the Atomic Wrangler have a couple easy quests for some easy XP. Yeah, actually, I should probably check on them. All I want to do is just get into the strip. I could just try to uh, take on all those Securitrons. Look who's back. If you want to see the king, you better pay up. I need a... S oh, I need a 60 in speech for that. Okay. Well, I think I might just do that. Atomic Wrangler, here I come. I guess I can put my fists Good down. <laughs> okay. Um, Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Uh, first of all, the followers. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Mm-hmm. Might be able to Good. work something out. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. Mm. They just need to agree to fix up our stills oh, yeah. and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. All right. Uh, any work to We've be got done? The basics oh, I know. I need to get some I escorts for them. We have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. I know where to if find them. Recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities. I'd be willing to pay your finder's fees. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. I know where Plenty of customers that. have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's I'll these get ben. disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. I'll go have get this, Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Mm-hmm. I'll go find. Just direct them to the Wrangler. Sure. I'll pay you when they show up. Great. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Bye. The Wang Dang Atomic Tango. Time to. Okay, Ben. Let's go take care of Ben first. And then I'll go see the followers. And then I'll go. I took care of the rats at Poseidon. Is it Poseidon? Where, where, wherever Robot is. Oh, hi. Um, come on! Yeah, okay, come at me. Come here. Alright, fine. Uh, well, that's not a very impressive amount of damage. Okay. Come on! Okay. There! Yeah! There! Come on! Come on! Okay. Well. Assume the position, yeah. <laughs> that is, that... One of the most tongue-in-cheek parts of this. Hello again. I've done a bit of... Yes, Some of I which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Uh, yeah, so, escort. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. <laughs> yep, I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Well, I have a job opportunity for you. <laughs> 
When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. Hmm. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Okay, so... All right. Uh, would you like to work for the Garrets? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Well... Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever get Every job to does. Black Widow. Oh, that's... Oh, uh, thank God I have something that will actually help me in this case. Ben, give your clients a precious respite from the ills of the world. I never world. put much thought into the well-being my clients got out of my services. I suppose they only get as much as I put into it. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. See ya. Well, at least something that I have in my arsenal is working out for me. Black Widow is... I actually took Black Widow mostly because, um... I was like, that's gonna help with Benny. But, retired sitting in the dirt by an oil barrel fire. Yeah, sometimes retirement doesn't work out so well for people. <laughs> Not for Ben. I love the... I, I do kind of love that idea. It's like, sorry friend, I'm busy sitting next to this burning oil can. I, I don't have time to go work at your... Wh whatever off-brand casino place. No, no. It can be bought. It can I, be found at Mick and Ralph's. I got, I got important things to do. Um, alright, so, let's go take, go to the followers for him. And, uh, where's Beatrice? Hello, Beatrice. Howdy. Who are you? I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Well, I got a great Aside opportunity. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked, who I could chat up about liquor, got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Uh... I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's alright, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I bet you've seen I've a lot. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical Very cozy gravel. Are especially Premium gravel. So good. Gravel is excellent. <laughs> that is the greatest gravel on earth. I swear. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Uh, you want to work they for the already Garrett's? have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? This would be as in... Uh, <clears throat> I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. You're not, you, you're not, no. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I mean I'm prostitute. All boot, knives, and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? The rich kind. Turns out they're accustomed. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Uh, you could be the next big thing. Oh man, I need my speech to be better. I've never been much of a showboat. Or cared about being a public figure. I'm plenty content with caps for an honest hard day's work. You get to choose your client. What's the difference? Once you start working for the man, you gotta buy nice things to wear. Then oh. you gotta make more money to afford nice things. Seems like a right vicious cycle to get into. And it's the kind you'd be well paid. Not saying there wouldn't be advantages, 
Especially if only you has start five more speech points. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, okay. Bye. Hello. My speech skill. Yeah, I know. I hate that. I'm so close. I think I. I think. I think I gotta just accept the fact that the points that I spend from now have to just be into either speech or unarmed for the majority of what I'm doing. Because those are going to be the two big things that I actually need. Um, those are those are the primary goals. So when I get skill points, I just gotta, I gotta try loading up on those. I'm going to go see if I can actually get Fisto, though. Because I do have repair skill, but I think it's actually science I need. Science is also when I really... Oh, man, there's so many things I need for science. Oh, my goodness. Five shy. I hate the fact that I'm always five. Isn't that always the way? How many times have you wound up with a speech check where you're, like, five shy? That's the problem. I've run away from a lot of challenges. Um... I might have to go and do some of the actual missions that I've skipped. I, I end up skipping a lot of missions, figuring that there was not a real point in doing them. Firing weapons. Uh oh. I killed you, rats. There are more rats now. Did you kill a protect a protectron? Uh-oh! What is that rat doing? Hey, rat! Come here, rat! That is a great pose. Okay, I'm gonna uppercut a rat a bunch of times. Yeah, I think... I don't remember if there's any actual requirements for... Come on! I did literally come here and kill all of these rats before. There are just now new rats. Alright, so... Hi, Fisto! Uh... Damn you! I don't have a terminal code or anything here. I need to open a terminal. I need science. I need all of the science. <laughs> Mickey or Raph make a thingamabob to activate Fisto. Oh, right. Good thinking. And just to save myself a little bit of time. Let's try this. Let's see if Mick and Ralph can help me out. What? Uh-oh, okay. Come on! Bur okay, c come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. There. Stop. <laughs> Stop him. Stop it. <laughs> Just Come at me with a knife. Okay. There. All right. Not in great shape. And caps are speech, and that is also uh, an issue. And I'm gonna go. Pimping ain't easy, huh? Maybe if you find some decent talent, I'll start visiting the Wrangler more often. I'm working on something. <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? I mean, it's not for me. 
Well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. Yeah, I figured that. That place right. has been overrun by vermin for years. And they keep you coming check the back. Place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Uh, can well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. Another speech check. I'm just five short. I have to. It, just stop. Thanks. All right, I gotta raise up a level and just make my speech as high as humanly possible. Speech, yeah, it's it's a it's a speech thing. Um, it's a speech thing. Okay, so, just to recap what we're doing, we gotta figure out how to get into the strip. My science is not quite high enough so that I can actually, um, use the monorail. And my explosives definitely isn't. My speech is not high enough to deal with the kings. Um, and I can't have caps that would just... Oh, no, 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 I know, I know what you're trying to do. My hit points are at nothing. I am not going to go... You are not going to lure me into your cult. I am not going to go and do that. Um... Okay. I know my health is low. My health is not good. And not fun. Damn you, five! Tilu, I feel you. Five. That's... Now there's now this is two different challenges that if I was just five more in speech, I would be I would be all set. How far away from uh, my next level am I? I am. Okay, I need seven. I need seven hundred experience. Um, you know what I might be able to do? Yeah, Boulder City, and oh, I hope there's no speech check. You know what I could probably do? We're gonna we're gonna do something. We're going to do something. I'm realizing there is something that I did not do that I typically do. Uh, which is to deal with the... Um, uh, everything that's going on with the... Uh, what's his name? This dude over here. Yeah, the, the one that Legion messed up. I'm still hearing, like, the sounds of a city while I am literally in here. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Oh, that's the, that's the thing. I can't actually do that because Sunny Smiles wants me to help her with the thing, but I need to use the... I need to use the gun. Although, I am kind of wondering now... Can I just tell her I don't want her help with shooting? I bet I could just tell Sunny I don't want it, and maybe I can move on to the thing where I can get what's his Hi face. there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Uh... Doc Mitchell yeah, said... Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. I don't want... I don't need gun training, though. That's the thing. I don't need gun training. All I need you to do is just show me some survival stuff so that I can move on to the next thing. She gonna hand me a gun. She's gonna make me do the thing. Happens to quick saving uh, to get rid of the city sounds. Yeah, it looks like that's uh, it's easy enough. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. No! This is why I didn't do this, by the way. 
So just here's 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 my thought process. Yeah, just just dump everything. Here, watch this. Look, there. Aren't I good at this? I don't need a gun. See, check that out. Everything all right? Uh, <laughs> I just ran out of ammo. <laughs> if I if yep, I'd say you're getting a little trigger happy there. Here. Will she just give me an? Ind this is a this is an interesting question. I think I found a glitch. Everything all right? Well, let's just. I have no. I have nothing. Everything all right? Until next. Okay. Well, I knocked all of the cans down. Yeah, I knew there was a reason I didn't do that quest. I ran out of ammo. Yeah, just I ran out of ammo. I just chucked it on the ground, and then they give you more. So there's that. Um. All right. This is the reason why I didn't have the uh, the gunfight. I could theoretically. I woke up in this bed. Why can I not use that bed? Oh, okay. All right, Boulder City. Here we come. Let's see here. So there's the trading post. And I think it is straight north from here. I am going to, however, find one of those amazing cardboard... Can I... Can I sleep in the... Will you... Will you... Roll over for a second so I can just... Stay in the... Wonder how long you can cheese the free ammo. We... Well, we found out that answer. You can do it the once. Um... But hey, you know what? At the beginning of the game, here's the thing, folks. That's 30 rounds of uh, of ammo that you could just get for nothing. Alright, so Boulder City is... Uh, that's Boulder City right there. I believe that's Boulder City right over there. Yeah, I didn't quite take this route the last time. So let's go over here. Let's see if we can do Boulder City. Of course, my speech skill still sucks. I do not see this going well. Free bed under the bridge. Uh, free bed apparently in the tents, too. There's just... there's There are beds all over the place. One of my favorite ones that I find, too, is um, the Wolf Ranch. Uh, which is sort of on your way. It's just a, a nice little shack that you can go back to any time. And it's got free bed and a whole bunch of supplies and stuff in there. Um, here we go, I think, is that, is that Boulder City? Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, that's Camp Golf. I don't want to go to camp. I know this from trying to refresh the trader's inventory for more uh, 22 ammunition. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing to try because you definitely need that. The gun runners don't carry a steady stream of the 22. I only say that because usually, like the usually they will, but. I know that's Boulder City. I think. Is it? Oh no, this is a different thing. Come on. Okay, there's Lake Las Vegas. Yes, I know where this this whole thing is. Um where is Boulder City? Hold on. More east. Really? I'll go back. I'll try east. Um, do east.
there we are. The rude gun runners trader at the is a gold mine for twenty two. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's uh he's something else. He was always like my favorite because it's like, do you even want my business? All right. I'm gonna go this is this is Boulder City. Yeah, Boulder City, cool. I bet you I'm gonna need thirty five speech. That wiggly dead end road, yeah. Uh, I think found you. Can I kill the crow? Crow, come back here! Crow! <sighs> Shoot. You here to pay your respects to? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I don't think you wanted my business, but you was a bit. Yeah. You uh, you don't really get that very often. Uh, the the whole thing where the person who won't want to trade with you usually it's like why did you even set up shop dude um, can't mccarran but i'm on leave at the moment heading back to california to see my folks i'm supposed fun. to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188 but they're not due to arrive for a while yet or ever bye all right so let's take a look east looky loo oh the bighorn saloon well howdy partner Hi. Hey, a customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. I'm coming just for that mustache. Most of the town is rubble, destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. Uh, what's the concrete for? The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. Uh, where does that Most come from? Most of the from? limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. I don't know what he's talking about. I'll do take care of those death claws. Come back real soon. Nah, I'm telling you. Can you imagine? I mean, just the money he must have to spend in mustache wax has got to be half his paycheck. It's it's pretty impressive. Um I have nothing that I can work with. Um uh, Round the corner. Boulder City. Oh, not this direction? Oh, I thought it was on the other side of Hmm. Okay. Maybe further in. Oh, it must be over here. Okay. Must be over here. Yeah, if there's one console code that I do suggest people use, I'm not using anything, but the the one where you can increase your walk speed. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. I know. The Brass and McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. Uh, what's going on? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. That's No okay. deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Uh, they might have Once my the great chip. cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Uh, I might be able to negotiate. Normally I turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the great cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. This is going to go if over great. we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. 
but it'll probably be too late for you. Don't worry, I can handle myself in the fight. I got fists. Famous last words. Okay, so this is a really great time to save the game. Okay, so let's see how horrible this ends up going. Uh, who's in charge here? I bet one of you has a name. No. Okay. Well, it was worth... What's down here? This back door. Oh, here's a door. What's in here? Was oh, this bed? Oh. Make note. Free bed. Wee. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, well if I could lock unlock doors, I go and do that one. All right. So Hope the NCR doesn't send reinforcements from the dam. All right. Where's your Where's your leader? Your leader's around here somewhere. I want to talk to him. Oh, he's in here. All right. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. I got better. You're supposed to be dead. Uh, yeah, I got better. In here, I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Okay, well, what happens now is I want to shit. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. Let's talk about settling these What's things. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Uh, I'm willing to hear something. We try to bribe our way out. Okay. Um, never mind. Fine. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Yeah. Now... He needs 45 in speech. And guess what? I now have 45 in speech. Um, okay. So, thoughts. Um, I, I would take toughness. <laughs> I would take toughness. It probably is a, a Monty Python reference. I would take toughness, but honestly, I'm at negative two right now. I don't really think that the plus three that's going to get me to one in DT is going to really make a difference at all. Uh, however... Bloody mess. Bloody mess is probably going... I take uh, less from food and drink. Uh, there's nothing... Oh, I could take cannibalism. <laughs> More experience points would be uh, pretty good. Uh, but I don't think... Bloody mess or toughness, yeah. I I'm... I'm I would normally want to take toughness, honestly, but I, I'm already at a negative 2 DT, so it's kind of pointless. <laughs> it's only going to get me to 1, and that's really not going to help me at all. Um, yeah, with two levels, I mean, you'd, you'd get to something, but honestly, it's, it's really not going to make much difference. Um, if we were doing Fallout 3, and it was DR instead of DT, yes. But, um, with the way damage threshold works, not, not really. So, I'm gonna take Bloody Mess because I'll just do an extra five damage. Uh, you can stack toughness twice. You can do it twice, yeah. Uh, ranks two. Um, yeah, if you could continually stack it, that'd be awesome. But, anyway. Okay, now, I have... I'm getting real tired of talking. Well... Let's talk about Still settling going things on up. About this, huh? Yeah, well, Pretty you know. Sure, I already said we want. Look, I have speech forty-five now. We can handle this. Free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR escort you out of the territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. I will gladly do such things. Eh, go on. Evening. Okay. 
So, now that we've taken care of that little problem, and I have 45 in speech finally, it allows me to get these other escorts done too. Okay. Monroe? Monroe? Hi. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. Look, they let the hostages my go. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? If you have integrity. You're right. Integrity? The Great Cons are free to go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, T. Lou, I think the same thing. It's it's always like, yeah, I just learned something about talking. All of a sudden, yeah, let me just get back to you in five seconds. I just got some. I just raised the le level up. Hey, just come back to tell you, uh, I'm better at talking now. So if you could just uh, do me a favor. All right, so uh, the Boulder City Showdown that also gave me quite a bit for XP. So I'm actually well on my way to level seven. In the meantime, though, I think I now have the ability to take care of Wang, Bang, Tangle, Wing, Dang, Ding, Bang. <laughs> what did I just say? I don't think I like that. All right, here we go. We're going to go take a little look-see here. Okay. Hey, Mick. Ralph. I just learned how to talk. I, I talk pretty now. Here. Hey, what can I get you? I'm gonna tell you what you can get me. That holotape. I don't know. Listen. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I still need a hundred caps. Oh, okay. Just come back. Why do you do this to me? It's okay. If I get my speech skill high enough, actually, I can just talk to the king, and then I can deal with that problem. Or science. My science skill is high enough. Those would be good. You, I prefer this system over the one in Fallout 3, yeah. Yeah, the percentage system it doesn't necessarily work. And... Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's kind of also the same system that they did for Fallout 4. It's just that you don't see it, but where they color code the different speech checks, um, there's, there's, there. I don't think there's necessarily a number you're supposed to hit. Howdy. Uh, interested in working for the Garrets. Listen, I know how speech works now. Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garrets I'll stop by to work out terms. All right. Later. Well, that's one thing that I don't have to do now. What's up? Hi, Arcade. Uh, I'm actually trying to find Julie. Is Julie around here? I gotta tell her that I'm... I might have a lead for Julie, Julie Barkus. Where are you? You're around. What's up? I haven't played much Fallout 4. Um, yeah, what they do is there isn't a percentage in Fallout 4, so to speak. But what they do is is they have difficulty in speech checks. They don't tell you anything about what you have to do, um, but I Evening. I do know that occasionally you will try it, it will fail, or it will succeed. Usually, though, if you have really high speech checks, or, or you have a really high speech ability, then you can usually pass it, but it's not like a guarantee. I think it has a lot to do with, um, well, I don't know for sure, but I think it has a lot to do with the difference in design philosophy between Bethesda and uh, Obsidian, which is um, which is a whole subject into and of itself. Uh, let me see here, Julie, Julie. All right, Julie. Hi. hi do you need assistance? Always. Uh, I think. Uh, That's phenomenal. Who did you find? Well, 
They the supply carrots. Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills Still. would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of ifs. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, she can't, she can't just accept these things. With a surplus of supplies, you could use your caps to influence and expand. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. Uh, okay, great. Uh, and I don't have any medical supplies, period, so I can't help you with that. But, you know. Not that I'm going to pick it up, but I am just... Side note, if anybody happens to be listening, um, one of the snow globes is here. Snow globe. I ran across, across the one at Nellis the other day when I was doing this, and someone was like, what do the snow globes do? I always see them, but I never know what they do. You, 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 you sell them to Jane for money. It's what they do. Um, okay, cool. So, Fisto is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to use science skill. I got to raise science up, too. Speech first. Hungry? Thirsty? The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. Was that... Oh, okay. It's no one I care about. Okay. That's <laughs> random thug. Yep, yeah. Th free 2,000 caps. Yeah, just... And the thing about it is, is that if you just know where to look... It is not hard to... They're not, like, out of the way. They're actually super easy to come across. Um, if, if you know where they are, it does not... It's not even out of your way, really, to, to hey. get the majority of them. Welcome back. What? Uh, they will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Terrific. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here. But honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Okay, cool. Uh, do 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 I actually, I found your... Imagine that! Ghoul. What's his name and when's he start? Uh, her name. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. <laughs> Hell, who knows? He might not there's, even notice the difference. There's only so much I can do. And who would that be? Oh, you gave me bottle caps. I don't want your bottle caps. Old Ben. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, it'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. Barter science science is more useful now, though. Yeah. Uh, okay. The best place to start. Yeah, they don't. They don't have one. They don't have hey. one. Okay, well, you've given me caps, but I'm not going to use these caps for anything. I am, however, going to see if I can find your sister, because I believe your sister is going to be able to give me a... Okay, come back here. I think that's... That's Francine. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Uh, look. Uh, anything that needs... Done. I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well... Needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to call. Uh, well, <laughs> I really want to shoot someone. Uh, no, actually, I can't. That sounds, 
good as long as I don't have to kill anyone. I'd prefer you not I'd... kill anyone with a debt. It's a bit difficult to collect on a corpse. Tried to Just do a pacifist run in this them. game. After that, I couldn't care less what happens to those dead beats. I don't think it's actually possible. I don't think you can actually do a pacifist run. Uh, okay, you've got yourself Great. a deal. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. I'm just gonna do a speech check. All track. right, 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR so prospector. So close to seven. <laughs> I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the fu Okay, so... Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Okay. Any Son oh, no, that's what... Anything? Goodbye. Talk to you... Okay. So, technically for this thing, I would have to be able to pick up caps, but I'm gonna make the executive decision that all I'm doing is trying to You'd recover... Get out of here if you know what's good for you. I'm gonna make the executive Daddy. decision. I don't think you can get past Benny without ending him in some way. No, you can't, even when you get to uh, Caesar's camp. So, um, I'm gonna make one executive decision here, is that I'm gonna say the caps that I'm getting for Francine are just a mission-critical item, because I'm not gonna be using them. I just need to collect them for her. Uh, so, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna call this fair play, because I'm not using the caps for anything, uh, except completing this quest. Uh, you can set him free, but you, you want uh, dead. you need to survive really the trap. Yeah, the therein lies the problem, because you still have to take out Caesar's folks to free him. Uh, so there is that. Okay. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. I'm going to see if I can find these folks. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Tilu. <laughs> at the end of a stick. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Tilu. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's what I, I'm, I'm, I'm holding them out in the middle of nowhere in the hopes that, uh, th Lady Jane, hi. Wait, where, ex hey. Hello, lovely to meet you. I was hired to in track you case, down. I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Perhaps there's something else. I'm short 90 caps or so, but I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor. At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. Okay. I got that all taken care of. Alright. Oh, you... You Come on. Oh, you're not firing at me. You like that? Come on. Yep. Okay, you're Come back here. And eh, never mind. Oh, I finally dinged. All right. So, I'm gonna have to go take care of these last two. I gotta put... I need some sci... Okay. Here we go. Uh, where's science? Actually... I think I'm gonna have to start putting some things into science. Because I think 35 science might actually get me into the strip.
I can't I can't remember what you said it was, but I think I think 35 might be enough science so that I can actually get into the strip. If not, I'm gonna hopefully be close at this point. Um, but I'm gonna go take care of this debt collector thing, and that should actually get me quite a bit of plus science. That means that I'll be able to actually access some of these. Mick and Ralphs for all your shopping needs. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get. In, I'm gonna get into the strip soon. I know this to be true. Thirty-five in science. I think it's. I think it's thirty-five in science. If so, I can go and get onto the monorail. Actually, get into the strip, and I can actually finish this quest line. Hey, man, can you spare a few caps? Uh. <laughs> Here, sure, man. Ah. What the hell was that for? You owe the Garrett's a good lump of cash. Ah, crap. I was hoping they'd forget about my tab. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Uh, I'm gonna do this so that I can get my speech checked. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. I don't have enough speech to deal with the rest of it. Okay. That'll do. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. Well, you know, I'm nice like that. Alright, one more. I gotta find Santiago. Where is Santiago? Not you. He just wants me... He just wants to lure me into a corner. I'm not falling for that. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Terrific. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a freeside VIP. My name is Inigo Montoya. The, uh, Garrett said nothing about VIP yes, status. Yes, indeed. Santiago is very important. I even have a discount in Mick and Ralph's. Perhaps you could use Santiago's 45 discount. 45 science. For 50 caps, Santiago will tell you the super secret code word to get a discount with Mick. Just... Sorry, my friend. Oh, yeah. 25 caps will do. Tell Mick Santiago sent you, and the code word is extravaganza. It will set you up. Okay, now that Sir, thing. Santiago told you. Okay. I've got to. I've got to just punch you. Ow! Okay, here. <laughs> Take the caps. Just don't hurt Santiago again. Just, if there's one thing I can do. I'm sure, I'll hear about you again soon. Did your voice just change at the end there? I love that that he just all of a sudden he's like, okay, yeah, bye. Super secret code word, yeah. I'm so glad. Thanks, thanks, dude. That was very, very helpful. <laughs> I don't want to give you any money. Just, just stop asking for money. All right. All right, let's just get if it this. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Sure thing. I need to put points into science anyway, so that I can uh, start Mick hacking and some up, stuff. The Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the tables more friendly, and the women are just like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Francine. Hello there. Francine, where are you? I need to find Franc Francine. Yeah, he drops the Santiago act all of a sudden. It's like, all right, fine, dude. All of a sudden, Santiago is just like, yeah, no, I'm Mitch from Texas. Um, let's 
Sorry, I'm from Sherman Oaks. I don't know who this Santiago is. I, I, I don't know. No one here. Where's Francine? Oh, I'm just gonna have to wait for Francine to come out. Francine, I don't want to talk to your brother at the moment, and, yeah. um... Well, Beatrix, that's a... Outfit. And there's Ben. Okay, um... I'm gonna just wait a bit. Just wait. And there's Francine. Welcome back. What... Uh, I would like to... I think I have all these debts. I don't debts. care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. Oh, boy. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. Uh, if I... How am I supposed to get to the strip? See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You. If I see Good. him. Alright. Interesting. Okay, yeah, alright. Yep. One thing that rustles my jimmies. No one in Fallout bothers to clean up anything. <laughs> These people live here, and there's just trash and filth all over their place. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I think that the idea of having, like, the gritty worldview of the the whole place i'm sure that's why it looks Morning. like this but you do ask yourself like in these places that are supposed to be like well lived in uh, you, you wouldn't make a few capital improvements like that's like especially with the big so like in three go to megaton lasers plasma pistols it did, you're not even Retail trying you're rush. not even trying and then um Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The atomic... In this one, yeah, these are supposed to be this. Even when you get onto the strip, it's... Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. So, I don't need these things. Alright. So. Somebody looking in that trash can is gonna be very happy. So, now that we've taken care of that little thing, we are back to having... Nothing. Except the engraved cigarette lighter... Which is a necessary item. Okay. So. What's up? Like, patch the gaping hole in your ceiling. Or, fix your bridge. Or, like, when... Like, with Prim. You could only put some boards across the one side of the broken highway. You couldn't bother to just put it across the whole thing. There's a lot of questions that still have to be answered. Look who's back. Okay, you still need speech. Alright, but... And this is a big but. Um, I think... Back in the saddle, I... Um, I need to get into the... Ant misbehaving. Then reset the main breaker power. Always good. Sunshine boogie. Ant misbehave. Oh, now that I have that, maybe I can actually find where I'm... I may not be able to fix the actual arrays, but I can probably restart the generators. The lighter is destined to live in Benny's nether region. <laughs> Yeah. That's exactly where it's going. And it, I, I don't want to think too hard about it. Yeah, cleaning up the counters because you don't serve the drinks. Or like in, in um, what is it, Diamond City in 4. It's like, you, you, could, you could drain down some of that standing water that you're walking around in, folks. This is like your major civilization point, and you can't do that. Come on, people. I'm I'm sorry, but realistically, let's just get with the program here 
I understand it's the post-apocalypse, and it's easy for you to let some things go. I think I can do the ant quest, exactly. Um, I can't do the solar array panels on the top here, but I think I can do the ant quest. And if I do the ant quest, I might actually be able to... This might give me enough good cred with my, my friends here that they'll let me do Volare. There is actually a piece of armor that they insist on me, uh... Perfect. That's all I needed to do, huh? Okay. Oh, I think they want me to go out the other... It's fine. I'll just go out this way. I think I go around the back of the building. Yeah, I'm realizing that actually the ant quest... I thought that it was part and parcel to the... Uh... I don't know where you want me to go. I thought that it was... Um the same thing as the 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 array but i think the array is a completely different that's that's a completely different beast it's kind of interesting that they're both in the same general spot but uh okay so here wait 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 oh How many times have I done this quest? Terrific! Always look on the walls. Always look on the walls. Any valuable information here? If there's something quest-related or information-related, I'll pick that up, but... All right, so how far away are you? Yeah, let's just save ourselves a little bit of time here. The local area map helps with the marker sometimes. Yeah, you're you're very much right. Um, it is hey. kind of hard to figure out exactly the the placement of some things, uh, especially on the world map. So yeah, that's why they have the local map. I'm sure. Um, let's see here. Raquel! Raquel, I got news for you. Raquel. I see the power's back on. Yep, you Maybe can go. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. Magic. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. I gained some fame with the boomers. Do the boomers like me enough that I can go do the Valari mission? Possibly. It's a lovely day out here in the Capital Waste Capital Wasteland. Mojave. Uh oh, what's the other one that I can do without having to go and grab a bunch of things? Um Because I'm not, I'm not picking up and scrounging for you folks, but I will. Where's, where's my happy little friend? Happy little friend. He has a girl problem. Where's the one with the... Who wants to meet that other outsider who doesn't have to run through a minefield like I did? Come on. You're around here somewhere. I'll find him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the history for like 10 minutes straight. Uh, I've done that. And, um, yeah, you do actually get some experience for that. Uh... 
You should get out of my face before you get yourself hurt. What is it, outsider? Goodbye. Nice day we're having. Well, you've been very helpful. This dude. So you're the outsider. Lived this your whole Jack. life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. I'm looking for ways what to I help out. Some scrap metal. I'm not they going not to find exciting, a bunch of scrap around metal. Here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. There's a bunch of scrap metal right, right, you right now. From the outside and all. Well, I guess you'd call it a... Okay, listen. A personal matter. You Come think on. I'm handsome? Yeah. Wow. I wonder if she does too. Maybe. Yeah, the blonde dude. Tell me about this There's girl. There's an outpost near here. The signs say... Crimson Caravan? All right, I can go to it the Crimson like Caravan. It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. They do. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. Oh. This special girl. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Mm -hmm. Except she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could talk to you. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Feels like the... Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I love that whole thing, like, Hey, uh, what if she gets blown up? Oh, oh, no, worse. What if she doesn't like me? Uh, I'll look into it. Um, that would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Okay. Okay, Jack. Uh, yeah, I can I can take care of young hearts. This is just kind of the... It's a love story of love. Um, okay, so... Where's the Young Hearts quest? I'm just gonna make sure that I'm following the right one. Because this is the Crimson Caravan right here, right? Yeah, it's right across from the East Gate. Karen's down there. We'll go to the Crimson Caravan. I'll also just head Fancy by the medical. Fancy meeting you here, friend! Yeah! <laughs> just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Victor, personal space, man. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, you could send it there without the jacket, but... Uh, it's good to see yep. Victor as this large as life. Embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Fancy pants? No, I ain't seen hot. No. Oh, okay. Him We're a little bit further. No, keep going. Space. I'm sure he ran back to the soft some... living in New Vegas, though. Oh, uh, okay. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. Okay. So, we've got, uh, okay. He is larger than life, isn't he? I swear. All right, Crimson Caravan. I'll go talk to this lady here. She's doing something now here. That her? But that okay? That looks like it might be her. Can I get around this fence? Hello, you must be. You Janet. should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I don't suppose you know about those boomers. I watch all sorts boomers. of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know and why? I've been inside, Nellis, and there's nice this... Nice-looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's a catch. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. Sounds like I better hurry to him. Any chance the boomers would let me visit Nellis? New activity. 
I don't know what the new activity is. Something. Oh, I can probably... Uh... Hold on one second. I see a thing, but it won't tell me what it was. Tilu followed... Oh, yeah, well, yes, thank you, Tilu. Thank, thank you very much. Um... For some reason, it wasn't popping up on the thing. I don't know why. Okay. I'll ask Pearl. This is so exciting. We'll Let me Pearl. know how it turns out. Okay. So, thank you for the follow, by the way. It's been nice having you here. I like to actually stay actively engaged with people while I'm actually doing things. Um, that way I'm not talking to myself. While I'm over this way, while I'm over this way, I am going to just see... Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. I know, and that would be incredibly useful right now. But, uh, what if I was... It'll be easy enough to purge all rads from your system. I don't, I don't... I'm afraid caps. I can't do this for free. My supplies are stretched Thanks. thin enough as it is. Take care... Well, it was worth trying. <laughs> All right, so Pearl, back to Pearl. Look, Pearl, I'd like to just talk to you about this uh, this young lady over at Crimson Caravan, and your boy over here, Jack, crushing a little bit, and uh, would really appreciate it if she could come here without, you know, getting the blown up. That would be that would be really useful. Well, it seems like quite a pain in that. Yeah, <laughs> last run I've been doing uh, without fast traveling. Oh yeah, no. The, the Young Hearts is the reason. Going, Young Hearts is the reason why you need to have fast travel because. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? Uh. <laughs> Uh, in fact, there's a, there is a game, I don't know if you've ever played it, or anyone who happens to be watching has ever played it, but there's a game called Outward. I've, I've played a fair amount of it, but in that game, uh, map markers don't really exist, and fast travel does not exist, so you, you have to be very mindful of where you're going, and you do walk everywhere. And, uh, it, when, when you have to constantly relay messages back and forth, because there's some quests like this Young Hearts one. Yeah. Yeah, you feel it. You feel it quite a bit. She's with those traders. They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. You don't have to this trade with them, Pearl. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Oh... I assure you there's no threat. Very well. I'll take your word. When you say she isn't a threat to the tribe, I will allow her entry. If Jack will take responsibility for her. Of course. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Always. Uh... Okay. Tell Jack Janet is interested. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go... Yeah. We're gonna go take care of this... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we're gonna go take care of. Yeah, I think the thing is, is that if you didn't have a fast travel system like this in this particular game, where you're literally playing the courier, this would get very, very hard. I mean, I think, I think to myself, if you took uh, the other epic RPGs that are out there, if you took like a Skyrim, imagine Skyrim without fast traveling. Oh boy, that's um. That's that's gonna Have be. Have you a... seen her? The redhead of my dreams. Uh, good news. She does. You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? 
I spoke, uh, but Here, we need... take this boomer outfit. Yeah. I'll let the gunners know she's coming, and not to shoot at her. Gee, this would have been a lot more useful for me. Someone... Alright, back to the caravan, because no one can solve anybody's problems without the protagonist being involved. I like my tedious gameplay, too. I love being able to... Oh, the things we'll do for XP. Hello. I'll tell you right now. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to I talk to you. you would. Yeah. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I got a boomer uniform. I love this. Just wave your arms and run as fast as you can. I got a boomer uniform for you to wear. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? Yeah, she's I know a if joy. I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Okay, I will. I will go talk to Alice. Freaking, frick, frick. I'll go talk to Alice. Alice doesn't live here anymore. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. Mm. What may I do for you? Safety is a strong word, lady. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small Word travels camp. fast. Word gets around. Mm -hmm. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Mm -hmm. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Oh... Janet's wages can't be that. Why bother keeping them? Oh, if only my speech. I love... Oh, come on. She's in love. Give her a break. You'll have to try harder than that. The rumors about my heart being made of stone are true. <laughs> uh, I... I'm glad to hear it. Okay. Uh... I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Okay. It's been a pleasure. And going to Dr. Hildern. But I got this nazi outfit, yeah. Hey, you know what? It's... lafferty has been riding asses again. Better lay low. Jeez. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? I see. Well, thank you for trying. I'm off to go see my admirer now. All right. So, invoice to Dr. Hildern, which would eventually lead you to the Vault 22 storyline, which is the There Stands the Grass one, and that's a good one, too. Um, but, oh boy. Alright, so now let's see, let's see the charming scene that we're going to be entering into. Let's see. Nope. Over here. If I can just make it onto the strip, I, I will feel I like I succeeded. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. Oh. Uh... See ya. Oh, she hasn't arrived yet, I guess. Where is she? I got here all the... Okay. So, now I guess we do... All we do now... Is we sit and we wait. Yeah, just wait for seven hours. 
punchy punchy through a vault doesn't sound like a good idea. No, especially for 22. Um, those, those spore monsters. Ooh. Yeah. Not looking forward to that. Okay, where are you? Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. Chemistry is palpable. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Hello. Thank you for getting Janet to know us. I've You're never welcome. been so happy in my entire life. Uh, there you go. Any like other? I said. Yeah, I know. Scrap metal. Yeah, you're fine. Fine. Yeah, it's time for me to go. Later. It's been, it's been loved. Boomers like me now. I feel so happy. The boomers like me. Terrific. All right. Okay. Most manual speaking. <laughs> I like you. You seem like you are nice. Yes, you are also nice. What a good time we are having today. This is completely natural. I feel so happy. I feel pretty. Um, okay, I, uh... Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Talk to Dazzle about the... I need to get into the damn thing. Spread word. Out of curiosity, where exactly am I supposed to spread word about the atrocities? Oh, over here. I can probably fix this pretty quick. I shall spread the word about the atrocities. To whoever you are. Sergeant Heard you Hill. helped out Jackson. Thanks for that. Caravans are still waiting for clearance to move out. But at least there's movement. Legions attacked. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. They... They aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside the borders. Sure they are. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're doomed. Thanks for bringing the word. Even if the news is bad, I'll let the men know. You're welcome. I'm glad I could be a help. Well, we're all doomed. Thanks for letting me know. Any other easy quests that I might be able to uh, deal? Sunshine Boogie, yeah, which is going to put me back towards the... Um, Another one that's kind of tricky to do. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Some of these are great, but unfortunately, yeah, it's 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 hard to do in this particular run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh oh, but actually, this one should be pretty straightforward. I need to go to Camp McCarran anyway. Wait, Cass is here. Heartache by the numbers uh, activates, I think, in either spot. But I talked to Kaz, didn't I? You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Kaz! Any work? If you're looking to sign on with a caravan? No. Traders are bottled up tight here. Caravan works up north. Check with a crimson caravan, maybe. Gun runners might have work. Wouldn't know for sure, though. Still, they if don't. you got a gun, guts, and feeling like going on patrol, might be some of the soldiers around here have work for you. Uh, running and gunning would sound interesting, but... Jackson might have something for you if you haven't already spoken to that old buzzard. Uh, he was looking to try to get troops buzzard. to clear the North Road. 
You can find him over in the other building. I did that. The one without a bar. <laughs> I don't know. Seems to be a lot of attention on Nipton. Word is, one of the snipers in the yeah, nest on the a roof spotted with smoke from the east. We've got that, that uh, sniper on the roof. Yeah, yeah ghost. Her name's Ghost or something. Fucking scary. It, it's Ooh. Ghost. <laughs> I guess it's because you'll never see her till you're dead. NCR and their goddamn nicknames. As if Caesar himself's gonna piss and run if he hears them. <laughs> anyway, go on and head up top. Ask her what's going on if you haven't already. I don't much give a shit. Yeah, you've... You've you never really now. been one to do this. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, easy experience, though, for me. Oh, you know, uh, there's actually something I could do that would just get me some easy experience. I'm not going to use him as a companion, but I think I might actually have a high enough repair skill that I could just repair ED. Sixty-five, fifty-five. I have now activated three of these Prince happy little boxes. That should keep the powder gangers away. I know it's pretty great, huh? I'm doing a good job. Ooh, here's another fun game you can play: the I kick a tumbleweed around game. Punch! Can I punch the tumbleweed? I think this is defying the laws of physics now. There's no wind. Okay. Tumbleweeds. Be careful about tumbleweeds, folks. I actually heard that those those can be a real problem. Like I live I live in mountain areas, so it's not as big a deal here. We don't we don't have tumbleweeds here. But uh, I hear I hear where there are tumbleweeds, they could become quite a nuisance. I don't think you can set these on fire. Oh, I wonder if you could. Uh, the Brotherhood quests. Yeah, could probably do those. Um, pitch in. Let's see, where is Hidden Valley? Hidden Valley, if I remember correctly, is going to be right in this general area. Uh, across from where Goods Trains. Actually, Hidden Valley should be right around here, right across from Sloan. Behind the Correctional Institute. Well, I go to the Correctional Institute. I will go to the Correctional Institute. That sounds like a plan. Tumbleweeds can pile up and get caught on fire, from what I've heard. Yeah, 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 is north of the NCR correctional... Th yeah, I gotta go that way. I think they might lock me up. I don't have Veronica with me. So that's always a problem. But... Wonder if I can take on a bloat fly. Yep. That's right. Five experience points. We're just gonna. This is going to be the World of War, uh, Warcraft, uh, boar hunting uh, equivalent here. Just bloat fly smacking. 
Come on, I am so close to just getting to level 8. All I need to do is get to level 8. I will have enough I will have enough skill points at that point. I will have enough skill points. You can wheel your way out without skill checks, but you might have high enough skills to get through some of their quests. I might be able to. Also, if I just have a few more skill points and I can level up just one more little time, I should have a high enough science skill or speech skill to actually get into the strip. And at that point, the whole world is my oyster. I really want that to happen. I am at the Correctional Institute. Now, the, uh... Now, it would probably be a really stupid idea to try and get into that building. So, obviously... Actually, I, get, I think I get some pretty decent experience from going in. Hey there, girly. You here to party with the Powder Gangers? This? This is, or was, the Big House. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Quit wasting my time. Yeah, whatever. Well, right now, you're doing nothing. Okay. I want to go in. Okay, question. If I start you punching you... Had enough? You're not attacking me. Okay, uh, just, uh, yeah, your head is crippled. This is, this is going well. What about, okay. Uppercut him a bunch. I mean, as long as Dawes decides just not to hit me, I'm good. Come on. I... Okay. P power punch. The power punch. No. Okay. Well, then instantaneously, I end up with with another problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can I just get the center key, please? I'm gonna go in now. Hey. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Okay, so for the record, that doesn't really work very well. <laughs> Alright, fine. I guess I didn't really get much out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna go over to Hidden Valley then. No, don't worry. I'm not gonna bother you and your little club. Just go over here. Jeez. I'm just gonna go over here. I'm taking T. Lou's advice. I'm just gonna go find Hidden Valley. I'll go tell the Oh no, coyotes! Oh no, not coyotes! At least they're not night stalkers. There's a part near like a bridge early on in the game if you go the way they want you to where you're supposed to encounter night stalkers and I avoided it. Which is good because I certainly don't want to have to deal with them. 
Uh, but, uh, yeah, Hidden Valley should be right up here. We'd have to go here anyway, might as well do it. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to go find myself a bunker. Punching a room full of armed people in the phase didn't work out. Seems about right. Yeah, yeah, it didn't. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of thought maybe. Never know. But at any rate, um. Since I don't want to do that walk again. Uh, this isn't the bunker, though. This is not the bunker. Oh, which one is it? Which one is it? Is this it? This doesn't look like it. Oh, there's three, and it's, I think, the middle one. There's gonna be a thing that generates storms. This thing right here. Oh no, are these the. Oh no! Bark scorpions. Let's try this. All right, not okay. There, yeah. There. <laughs> Northwest. Okay. Uh, where are we? North. West. Northwest. All right. Oh no, am I poisoned? Okay, time for me to go fighting around the world. This looks better. Uh-oh. I could either pick this lock if I had the ability to, or I would need to have Veronica. That would be helpful. I think the short answer is, uh, no. I don't think you can. Uh, okay. Yeah, this isn't it. They want me... It's the westmost one? Northwest, yeah, yeah. There's nothing down here I can do, right? And some in the middle. Ooh, didn't end well for this dude. Well, it is possible. Have to consider this for a second. I could pick up Veronica just so that she can get me into the damn hidden valley. Unequip her from everything. And have her come do that. But... Oh, I could go up Black's Mountain, probably. They like me in Boulder City. Uh, at least I got to their bunker with a Veronica or lockpicking. Oh, I think you can close the door behind you there, and they'll open the one for the bunker. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe I'll try that. I usually don't wind up in this particular situation, 
So I'll uh I typically don't end up in this situation, but we will definitely give it a good old college try here. Um Here we go. Let's see if we let's see if this works. Now I'm going to hide. Anyone? Oh. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I... Hold it. Not sure what triggers it. Might be waiting in the room too. Yeah, uh, hold, hold on. I, I'm gonna try something real quick. Guess I'll just see myself out. Now close the door. I'm actually gonna... I'm, I'm gonna be behind here for a second. I can't wait in this location. Maybe they go all the way up. Oh, and then... Wait, I think I know what to do. You leave. And then you come back. Right? I will... Leave? Oh, right. You know what I think it is? I think it's patrols happen at certain times of the day. If you come in at... Like, if I just... If I stay over here... And I wait till night... And they won't let me wait in this location. Oh. Well, this is a good question. Let me see here. Uh, you can only enter the Brotherhood if you discover the dead Brotherhood school and recover the password. Or if... Okay. At last resort, you can pick the house. Okay. Oh, okay, so either need Veronica lockpick or talk to Yes Man. And if I talk to Yes Man, I'd be on the strip, which would be very handy. At least I've found it. 
Okay, I was thinking to myself that maybe there was a thing like you were talking about, like there, there should be a way that you can do it without that, but it's okay. All I need to do is do something real fast so that I can... There is a dead paladin somewhere, and I can't remember exactly where it is. So that you can get the password to come in. Um, but let's just assume for a second. There's there's some stuff I can do. Um, all right. Deliver to Dr. Hildern. That's a whole thing. I don't want to shoot sarsaparilla bottles. Can't quite fix that. Look through the personal effects in the concourse area. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm thinking... Did not know that. Yeah, no, I, I can't remember the boomer's front yard. Has some dead paladins in it. Oh, yeah. Good thinking. Very good thinking. Yes, this is right. Okay. I can go find. A, I can go find a paladin. It's just um, if all I need is a code, I can pick up the code. I don't have to pick up anything else. He did. Hey, George. Hey, George. That was pretty incredible. I've never seen anyone come out of the boomer's reign of death alive before. Well, now you have. I should punch you for not believing in me. You want to live forever? No. All right, yeah, there's some paladins. Oh, that's right, because there's a whole backstory that the paladins came here. Um seeking out technology at Nellis Air Force Base. And so, there are some dead paladins in here. Um, and I can't quite remember exactly where they are. Exactly where they are. I think, actually, they're in this housing complex over here. They're closer to the actual um, area. Yeah, they won't shoot me now. They know better. They know what they did. I believe that you usually you usually stumble across them. Ah! I need hollow tape. Mission statement. Miscellaneous. And to dare to do it. I think that might be everything I need. I think that this is a... What are they carrying? These are T-51Bs. That's pretty great. Um, 24 damage threshold. Boy, that would be nice right about now. Uh, but anyway... <laughs> oh, so much stuff I'd love to be able to use. But, no. If this were a regular run, I would totally be using a brush gun right now. But, uh, okay, so now I think we can get into Hidden Valley. Let's try it out. I'm, in, I'm actually curious now, Tilu, because I'm thinking... Oh, yeah, that's the hidden hollowed-out rock, just in case anybody's wondering. It has very little in it. Um, but, okay, north, northwest. There we are. Okay. I actually don't really remember what happens after I do this. Because I think this doesn't end as well as my normal encounters with the Brotherhood. Um, Stay where you are. I'm sending someone up to meet you. Perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stand here. Hello! Hi! 
Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. Okay. Hand over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down of your underwear. Done. <laughs> I've told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment or face summary execution. Yeah, that's going to be easy Take for me. Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yes man's probably your your entry point into it. Okay. All right. Where did you learn that password? And tell the truth, because I'll know if you're lying. I found some dead An people. Story. It may even be true. Well, under normal how circumstances, else would I do your story wouldn't make any difference. You'd be dead already. Lucky for you, probably. Elder McNamara wants to meet you, so follow me closely, or you'll be killed. Terrific. Y'all are friendly. I've been informed that you bring us ill tidings, stranger. Care to elaborate? Uh, I found one of your patrols in the waste. That is sad news indeed. And I thank you for making your way here to convey it to us. But now the issue remains that an outsider knows our location. Hmm? You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern. And I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider. Who can accomplish certain tasks. Some basic, some a bit more involved. Okay, an just, NCR what do you ranger want? has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Uh, sure. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. What is with Wander the Brotherhood and, and their damn explosive Focus collars? On mission, <laughs> and you'll be fine. Oh. You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. My equipment's here? Okay, well... Can I put the collar in the... My entire box consists of these two keys. I don't even need those. So that's fine. I don't even care. I'm not even going to pick those up. Alright, let's see if we can just go figure out what's going on with Mr. Ranger. I hope his name is Rick. I really want to meet a Ranger Rick. Oh, well, first of all, we got this little problem. Can you... Okay. Well, my first problem is I have to. Uh oh. Wait. Surely they won't turn on me. Best way to make one is to blackmail them with explosive collars. Yeah, I mean that worked out really well for Father Elijah too. I'm... I don't think I'm gonna make it, folks. Nope. They weren't... Yeah, they, no, they're, they're totally gonna change. The Brotherhood is, um... Well, they're interesting characters. Uh... Oh, you know what? I should probably make sure I'm on the right thing.
I'll tell you, there aren't, uh, there aren't a whole lot of things that I liked better about Fallout 4 by comparison to Fallout New Vegas, but one of the things I did appreciate is being able to track multiple objectives at the same time. It's not true. I, I, there were a lot of mechanical things about 4 that I appreciated. I liked how the critical system worked, and... That was interesting, at least. I liked how you could mod your weapons and everything. But, um... Okay. So we're gonna go down here and deal with the ranger. Hi, ranger! Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Uh... Keep pointing that gun at me and stick it up your ass! Ha! <laughs> Got some claws on you, little lady. I like that. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah. Who, who, who are Dobbs you? Dobbs is my name. Okay. I'm an NCR ranger operating out of Camp McCarran, north of here. Sure. Reading man by birth, though. Uh, okay, well, you have now, to why go. why would I do that? You see some powder gangers on their approach or something? Um... <laughs> by the way, the Brotherhood... Brotherhood base? Here? Are you shitting me? No one's seen them for years. I don't suppose you've got a scrap of evidence to support this wild-eyed claim of yours. How about this explosive collar? I'll be. Let me take a look at that. All this is, is a slave collar. Seen plenty of these infernal contraptions in my day, and I know just how to spring them. Hold still. This... There. It's off. Now, thing is, a slave collar seems a little too basic for the Brotherhood. That's not to say I don't believe you, but... Did you just hear something? Uh oh. Oh no! This does not seem to have worked the way I wanted. Okay. Yeah, I did appreciate that. Okay, so don't do that. In in the future, don't do that. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Can I sleep in the bed? Hey. Hi. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger. Okay. I'm. Ha. Okay. What are you doing well, here? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. Okay, so... I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. We're gonna have to do... so so no one knows you're Standard here. Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time, and that's how we like it. Sure. Usually we call in our positions to McCarran to be relayed to other rangers, but I can handle myself. You seem like it. I'm sure as hell not gonna lose any sleep on account of a goddamn broken down radio. But it will shorten my stay if I can't fix it. Uh, this seems like a bad... Uh, and in your expert opinion, why would that be? Um... Criminals? See now, thing is, I fancy myself a bit oh, of a Oh, you tracker, actually do get... I don't see much in the way of tracks around here. I didn't realize he failed say speech that's checks, that's actually a, a question. There were criminals using these bunkers as hideouts. I know. Dobson's my name. Yeah, uh, who are Criminal the Criminal scum that have infested this region. Yes. Attacking caravans and regular folk just passing through. Sure. The dangerous ones are roamers. Though there's another group that mostly stays put over at the prison southwest of here. So far, the brass haven't mustered up enough men to take the prison back. Long overdue, if you ask me. But I'm just one man. I'm just one man on a mission. Look. Now, why would I do that? You see? Okay. See now, could say that's on account of the. Uh, okay, well maybe Bye. maybe I can fix. Where's the where's your radio? You said you had a radio here, right? Oh, I can smash the radio, huh? All right, so let's try something here. Okay. okay. Hey, 
What are you doing to my radio? Nothing. Okay. But if I find you... Uh, okay. Um, smash the radio. You did not just destroy my radio. Okay. So, listen. I understand we've had some... Oh, this is not going to end well. Okay. Dobson, listen. Listen. I have an explosive collar around my neck, and I'm not happy. Okay. Okay, Dobson, really? But I know my health is low. I also can't do anything about that. Okay. Come now, on. now I got a bob collar in my neck. Oh, you're. Oh, cool. You, you're not using your thing anymore. Okay, great. Oh no, you're using the thing. You okay. Like yeah, you're not you're not damaging my health, so that's something. Okay, that that might need to wait for Sir Ranger to go outside first. Oh, okay, yeah, let's try that. I'll just yeah, actually. Let's see. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. I'm we gonna wait an hour. Okay. Now, smashy smash. Okay. Well, that at least solved my little problem. Good thinking, dealer. Okay. So, anywho, let's go back to Elder McNamara and explain to him that I did a very good thing by smashing a radio. I did a good thing by smashing radios, everybody. It was great. People were happy with me. This is a good plan. People will take me seriously now. Literally, the only thing I can do is deal with my fists. And I, I really do need my unarmed uh, capabilities to be up to like a 75 so I can get in a special attack, though. Um, okay. Hi, can I come Stand in? Back from the door. The elders eager to hear your report. Great. Okay, I'm gonna come into the bunker now. I might have smashed his radio with him around before too. Yeah. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? He's gone. Oh, why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? He was going to leave if he couldn't get his radio working, so I destroyed it. I see. And he's not particularly likely to come back, since he's learned that the bunkers here aren't secure enough to serve as safe houses. Mm. It's not a foolproof solution, but indirect methods rarely are. What matters is that you drove him off without alerting him to our presence. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. Perfect. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that yeah, I would like to discuss with you. Yeah, the little bomb collar thing. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Other than Hello, that... Outsider. Other than that, thanks for stopping by. You've been great. Can I just talk to McNamara? What I wish to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room, outsider. Okay. These are all paladins. Is this Hidden Valley 2? This is the cyber attack area. This is the other area. I'm just gonna wait an hour because hopefully he'll show up. No. He has all of these lovely places.
Yeah, there's Camp McCarran. There's the Boomers. Looks like you've been over to the... Oh my goodness, yes. Black Mountain. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. I can't do Black Mountain. After giving Mountain. the matter some thought, however, he needs his I throne. decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. I can't now. talk to you until you're However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? I have better things to do. <laughs> yeah, don't walk and talk. Uh... I have better things to do. What happens if I say that? Then that is your choice. No. Have you reconsidered okay. outside? Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. Does that mean everybody else can cases, leave? Teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently. And the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. Right. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Uh, I think I found While one of your While that is disheartening patrols? news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. They won't. Uh, I'll begin. I'm looking. glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. Good. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Okay. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Oh, it's Harden. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. I think we might be able to help each other a sweet out. Over. I don't know what the elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are mm -hmm. you willing to listen to what I have to say? Yeah, what? As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years, and those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Uh... And I suppose... And I suppose you'd nominate yourself. I would. I'm the senior most paladin in the chapter. And have more combat experience than any two others here put together. I'd Jeez. gladly support another candidate. But no one has the courage to step forward and make the attempt. So it falls to me. I really would put does. this chapter back on the right path. If I could just assume leadership. It's amazing confidence. Yeah, I'm wearing a comb over. What do you want? Uh, have you... Okay. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less yeah, suspicion asking info. questions about such matters. Because I think the this fact is that the, the elder has some tasks quickest way to do this means his faithful won't suspect you. And you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. And I would love to. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can That'll do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. Right. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. Perfect. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. Right. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. All right, so... 
This is where I'm just going to talk to Ramos, and I think... Oh no, I gotta go this way. Zoinks! Ramos! Ramos, my friend. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Of course it is. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. He is. So, what would you have so to do to So you've been Kate? talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Mm. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. Bye. What's in here? I want to activate the turret controls. Alright, so, uh, Ibsen. Uh, yeah, I need to go find Ibsen real quick here. Where is Ibsen? Hello? Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, you have a little bit of a uh, problem, Yeah, you? I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little uh, touch and go at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, need any help? I could use some assistance, sure, but I highly doubt you have the technical background to help us deal with this virus. Oh, a virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. Anything I can do? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. Uh... Can you delete Along all the with files? all the crucial data contained within, that'd be like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. That kind of sounds fun. What do you need to You'll do? You'll need to this? locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Yeah. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, mm -hmm. but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Save and load Find quest. three of them before the virus jumps, yeah. and we'll wipe the damn thing. Alright. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Good thinking, though. I gotta just save them. I'll track the virus from over here. You just concentrate on locating the terminals hosting it. Sure. I'm ready. Access. Reload. Okay. Ten seconds. Well, isolate. I didn't know you started. I didn't know he started. Did he give any ins? Damn, it's jumped. Uh, I thought we might have had it that time. Okay. Did you want to try isolating the virus? 
Yes. All right. I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give the signal. Okay, you didn't give me a signal. You have to give me a signal. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it. Okay. It went to. All right. Isolate. All right. You're being watched, right. so don't get any idea. Ten seconds. Okay. Yeah. Jumped. Oh. I thought we might have had it that time. Can I just punch my way out of every problem? Did you want to try isolating the virus? We're gonna try this oh. one more time. I hate this quest so much. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get these central terminals first. The virus just jumped. Yep, okay, well... Nope. Find which terminals it went to. Isolate. Why is there only 10 seconds? I... Come on. Damn, it's jumped. Oh my god. I we might have had it that time. Hey. I don't want to play your stupid mini-game. <sighs> And load till you find the second one. Alright. I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay, where'd you where'd you go, Harden? Did you want to try isolating the Yes. Oh. Alright. Here we go. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Okay. Let's find the first one. Okay, so that one. All right. Load. Bunker takes a little getting used to. Does it? Okay, so they've already started. Okay. Saves come time. Access. Isolate. Alright, now to track down the next one. Oh, figure out which one the next one is. Okay. Load. Check and then load. Yep. How many I see?
Ten seconds. Damn, it's jumped. Okay, well that really does limit the number of potential watch, terminals. So don't get any ideas. It's one of these two. Ten seconds. Gotta be this one. Nope. Uh okay, I've gone to every single terminal. jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Huh? What? Hello. Where? I, I looked at every terminal. Evening. Ten seconds. Where in the hell? Damn, it's jumped. I thought we might have had it. Oh my god. I, I've looked at every console. Hey. Okay. Ten seconds. How about yours? Oh, it's yours. That's it. We got it. The virus has been purged. You actually did it. His you terminal. By saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. Yeah, well, but I'm glad to be wrong for once. Save Thank and you, reload is an amazing thing. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. Uh, great. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? I can understand how the man might be frustrated by the current situation. He's a take charge sort of fellow. Standing around's not his strong suit. Mm. I myself often wish we could end this interminable stasis and begin moving forward again. Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given yeah. you access to what I can, but that's not much. He's the, the man that's in charge and Ramos it's on Vegas. his thing. Why didn't Since he just look? constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Wouldn't it be Bye. great if they just, like, this This would have been really easy for them to deal with. They have, like, five different scribes that are around. Why don't they just say, okay, you take these three, How you take I these see? three, and then we'll just, you know. Incident one, let it be recorded that uh, was dismissed for, for committing the crime of murder. Okay. Uh, she'll no longer have the title. We've gone against the chains that bind. Okay, and then what's this? Stood witness to the dismissal. Was charged for destroying an unknown device recovered from a recent expedition. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, all they have down in the bunker is time. Yet, not only do they have time, they have plenty of, of like, manpower that they could be utilizing so that they can do this and get it over with. Like, just, just say, everybody, just grab, like, as many of the Paladins that are around, as there are terminals, have everyone just go to a terminal. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? I'm sure... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to ask you about. No, 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 no. Uh, who is Elijah? Who was Elijah, more like? He was our elder before McNamara. Bright uh, guy, but just between you and me, he was a little off. Uh, yeah. Our mission is to recover and preserve the technology of the past. But yeah, Elijah we learned that more. in Dead Money. He, he was a little off. Con technology, make it better. 
Oh, when we found lie. Helios 1, he was like a kid in a candy store. He kept talking about the potential and a grand design never realized. He even insisted we set up our base there, against the objection of nearly every paladin. What followed is a whole other story. Uh, yo, chains that's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. Mm. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Terrific. Bye. Okay, can I go to this computer? Can I go to your computer? No. Walking. There's so much walking. All I need to do... Well, this will help me out in the end, I suppose. Helping the Brotherhood now is actually very beneficial to me in the end, but... I just need enough so that I can access the dam. Okay. Uh, must always be obeyed. Orders to be observed the flow and not skip ranks. May give orders to subordinates, not those beneath them is the way of the harmony. Okay. And then, Hello, outsider. All right. Let, let's let's talk to let's talk to Harden and see if I can give Harden some ideas about what we need to do. Uh, speaking of which, where is Harden? That's a good question. Where is Hardon? Where is Hardon? We don't know. Oh, maybe, um... No, that would be if I was going out. Okay, okay. Evening. Hardon. All right. Back out, and let's see, I'm gonna go... Come on. Is Harden just hanging out in here? Is it, does Harden... Why is it wrong for me to... What Harden. is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? I've discovered... Uh, do you know about the chains I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? One of the I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. There's a second, second part. part. What are you talking about? It says Superior is not allowed to give orders to the men under his subordinate. That is the standard procedure, yes. For example, McNamara gives orders to head scribe Taggart. Who then relays further orders to the scribes. I wasn't aware that failing to do so was punishable, however. Interesting. If we can just find an instance where McNamara went around someone and gave orders to their subordinates, we'll have him. Yes, I know the loss of the patrols has weighed heavily on his mind for some time. He took it very personally when they first went missing. That was when I first began to seriously question his ability to lead us. A commander has to be able to deal with the potential loss of his men. It's strange that he would ask you to find mission disks on them, however. The missing paladins were all on standard patrols, which don't need them. Only brothers sent on special assignments are given mission disks. If you should find any on the lost patrols, let me know. Okay. Bye. I, like, literally just need 40 experience points. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. The Brotherhood has been so very accommodating, and I've been having just a lovely time with them, but... 
gonna go on out. We're gonna go on out of the bunker. just need to beat some people up. Black Mountain is on my thing. The Repcon Headquarters is on the thing. Salone. The Trading Post. I could get Repcon Headquarters pretty easily, actually. All I really need to do at this point... Oh, actually, other thought... Yeah, actually thought uh, here. I think I might be able to get the experience that I need real fast here so that we can do what I've been trying to do. If I go and take care of something over at the Nevada Highway Patrol. Because there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of... Uh... Had enough? Oh, yeah. It's Harley Quinn. Yeah. Yeah, no, just... Who else is hitting me? Okay. Could beat up some ants. Oh shoot, yeah, I'm gonna have to go up Black Mountain for that quest. That's not good. I really don't want to go up Black Mountain. At least I prefer not to go up Black Mountain if I can. Um, okay, so, where could I theoretically go just to get a little bit of EXP? Just get a little bit of EXP, is all I really need to do. Uh, the Strip North Gate, that's going to lead me off in this direction, and that's where I end up getting into Cazadors. I'd prefer not to do that. Okay, um... Pitch in at the caravan. We can do that. I just need to discover some things, actually. I should be able to be fine if I just discover. Uh, I gotta go get some sleeps. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, yeah, I'll probably not be playing all that much longer, but uh, have a good one with New Vegas. Yes, thank you so much for joining me and uh, being a good sounding board, because I think we've made some really good progress here. I'm almost at the strip. That's something. That's kind of my end goal. If I get to the strip, I'm good. I can, I can say that this is at least effective. Everything else is candy. Uh, thank you for joining us, Tilu. You have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Uh, I am going to actually do the whitewash mission, I think. I'm going to... I got to go over to Camp McCarran anyway. Might as well do it. Oh, man. Alright. This might be all the, uh... All the goodies I need, actually, if I can just do this one whitewash mission. 
Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the Colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Uh, having trouble with fiends? Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. I don't think I can I've help you. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Uh, yes. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. Okay. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nefi. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Is that Hence why they call him that? Yeah. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Uh, driver. You've got some guts, I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of Alpha Team, first recon. Snipers. If you're lucky, you can lure Nephi into the open, and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nephi one-on-one, -on -one, but it's your call. Out in the yard. Gorobetz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nefi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Got it. One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, Aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Right. We... I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. Not looking to collect, but... Whatever you need, we'll make sure it gets done. Uh... What did you have in mind? You thinking of luring him into range of my snipers? Exactly. It's one hell of a risk you'd be taking, but if you're willing, we'll do everything we can to keep you alive. I like this. All right, let's Listen. do it. My team has a debt to settle with Nefi. We've seen too many of our boys get brained by that golf club of his. You lure him out for us, and if we can score some payback, we'll all pitch in caps for a reward. My team will take up positions around the old rock crushing plant. They'll wait until they see Nefi, and then they'll start shooting. At that point, just keep your head down and stay out of range of his golf club. We'll take care of the rest. Get your rifles and move out, First Recon. We've got a fiend to kill. I'll be with you in just a moment. Got to take care of this little quest here. What is it? Where is the actual thing I'm supposed to... It's around here somewhere, I know. Oh, it's the concourse, right. Uh, first things first, let me just drop this one little note off. Dr. Hildern. A pleasure to meet you, I'm Dr. I know who you are. Uh, actually, I have an invoice. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Perfect. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? You mentioned Wonderful. that vault. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? 
Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Sure. Vault 22. Where to begin? Just tell me what All you right. want me to do. Straight to the point. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlocked the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Mm -hmm. Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Sure. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. That's what it says on my birth certificate. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah, I need to get some I shouldn't some say anything. I know data. that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. No kidding. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Mm. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius. And, and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Uh, nope. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc, but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. She is alive. I'll look for it. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Right. Good luck. I will find Keely if I go to Vault 22, but I don't think I'm going to do that, honestly. But I am going to go to Concourse. Did the colonel send you? I... I was hoping he might have changed his mind. What's wrong? I know. I've been crying. Stupid. I'm supposed to be a soldier. My husband. He's a ranger and he... He got murdered by a pack of fiends. Goddamn savages laid his body out to rot. Brass won't say it to me straight, but they mean to leave Esteban out there. I can see that plain. that they wouldn't do it uh, yeah uh, I'll, I'll recover ma'am I'd about given up hope but you've got to be careful I don't want anybody else dying on my account Esteban's body is laid out between some of the buildings east of the repcon headquarters at least that's what his squad mate said there's an NCR position just north of there it's on the way they should be able to tell you what the situation is All right. So, let's see here. Now, around the back here. Uh, journal. Yeah, I'll take, uh, take the journal. Alright. And there's nothing else here that I'm going to need to worry about. Uh, so, miscellaneous. Water shouldn't even be going into the west side, and yet the log says otherwise. Huh. Okay. You know, in all the time that I've done this, I don't think whitewash is actually a mission that I typically do. Not one I'm very familiar with, at least. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so now let's see here. Oh, I can't get in there to talk to the again I can't get in there I delivered the invoice well I'll, I'll just go tell the nice lady I delivered an invoice and she will be so happy with me the Clafferty's been riding asses again better lay low Uh, okay, they're off to the races. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the camp ran. Then Alice. Mc, Mc, McLaffy Taffy. Hello. Ooh, Radix. Alice? Welcome back. Yeah, you sleep in your same clothes. Okay, I delivered that well, invoice. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Uh, I... Yeah, what other work do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading out. Oh, There's yeah. also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. Mm. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Oh yeah, that's uh, that that's not going to be easy. Uh, I'll see what Thank I can you. do. Was there something else? Uh, no. It's been a pleasure. All right. Now, you have given me things I don't really need. It's okay. Let's go to the dumpster over here. Again, I took a vow of poverty. I don't want your caps. Hello. I don't need your caps. Your caps are useless to me. But, uh, what do I want to do? Well, I can go, I can go talk to Cass real quick. Cass will tell me that maybe she'll sell, maybe she won't, maybe she needs more information, if she likes me. This game isn't really big on the romance option, so... You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Archer they Caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Thank you, Caridas. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. Uh... If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Well, no, because Actually, I can't you know take what? them. Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Yeah, caps are really shiny, and I like them. The one time that I made an executive decision was when I went to do the debt collector thing. I held on to the caps so that I could hand them off to Francine. But then whatever she handed me, I then, I then got rid of. That's the one thing I was like, meh. It's kind of quest-related, so I have, to, <laughs> I have to hold on to it for a second. Uh, Alice the, uh, McLafferty, eh? 
No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Mm. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Uh, are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Sure. Just doesn't feel right trading history for a slip of paper. I don't have enough speech skill for freaking anything. Oh, my speech and my science skill need to be better, and my unarm need to be better. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I kind of said the only things that I will pick up are things that are actually mission critical items. So you're, um, so when there's journals and keys and passcodes and stuff, I'll pick those up because I, you kind of need them to actually progress the game. But if they want me to actually use equipment and stuff like that, no. Uh, I don't. You are definitely barking up the wrong bar stool. Whatever you're suggesting, not interested. If you, you think staying here is better? I got a bar, men who don't say a word, and plenty of whiskey. I'm fine. What a... Yeah. Yeah, I will. And you sure as hell aren't taking it. Can't believe I was even listening to you. All right. You fine, take care now. Fine. Well, that's not working. Uh, okay. That's not working. Well, I guess... This is annoying. I'm so close to just being able to ding and have enough skill so that I can complete, put a spell on you, get to the strip. Which is what I would very much like to do. Uh, because once I get to the strip, I'll feel a lot, bit, a lot better. Um, but I think I can do this one. I think I can do this one. Where's the rock crusher? Okay, I'll get to the rock crusher plant and see if I can finally do this with a little bit of luck. With a little bit of luck. Uh-oh. Ah. Well, you know the thing that happens. Is you know that the time has come when it no longer wants to respond. When the game says it doesn't want to respond, that's usually a good signal that you've reached the end. Um, let me just see if I can... Come on! Come on! You know you want to. Oh my goodness. Okay, well if you're not responding... Come on. No. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. I played this game on the PS3 and it froze like crazy. Yeah, this does not freeze all that much. Um. It actually, I think it's only frozen on me like twice. Period. Um. I'm going to try to get this to actually work one more time. Because I'm almost at the end of what I was going to do today. Uh, but I am uh, just want to make sure that everything is uh, copacetic and not going to be a problem. Because 
I don't like when things are a problem. I want to make sure that it's actually going to cooperate. All right. Also, I need to make a hard save, which I'm going to be doing right this second. It used to freeze on me like crazy, and there were tons of glitches. Luckily, the fact is, is that since it's been out for a long time, uh, it doesn't do that anymore, and there's there's been... Uh, on better hardware with better memory and everything, it obviously, you know, doesn't have that problem. Uh, do -do -do. I'm going to see if I can do the driver in the five bar, though. I'm going a little later today than I normally do, but that's okay, because yeah, now I'm, I'm very driven to eventually figure out how I'm supposed to get into the damn strip. It's all I've really wanted to do for the past four hours. It's just, let me get into the damn strip. I will be so much happier once I can do that. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go over here. There's a... There's something. Oh. Okay, well... Ow. Ow. This is great. Um, I'm going into fiend territory. And now, I, uh, I get the grand ability, oh no, oh no, okay, that, that's not, that's not good. Okay. Hi, you. Hey. Are you somebody who might be able to help me out with the thing? Hey, uh... Hey, bud? Who's gonna hang out here? Oh, perfect. Out of curiosity, what am I looking at for... Okay, I have seven hit points. I have seven hit points and... Terrific. Um... Uh, okay, cool. I can finally say that I'm at level eight. I... Okay, so things I don't need. Um... Oh, actually, that's kind of useful. I can't be knocked down. I like that. Uh, let's see here. Not particularly useful for what I'm doing. Not useful at all. Makes all of your uh, equipment and hosting. No. No. Anything else? Fortune finder. Doesn't matter to me. Not important. Cannibal. No. Swift learner actually might be useful in this particular case because... That extra 10% experience would be very, very helpful. Um, intense training. The extra 10% damage versus female opponents would probably be useful, actually. Um, five damage threshold against melee attacks and unarmed and cannot be knocked down in combat. kind of useful, actually. Yeah, if I do Stonewall, and then I... Maybe I invest in Toughness, because, like, my damage threshold is not good, but if I was getting these, it was, like, four, and I got Stonewall, which would give me another five, then it's something. 
because um, honestly, there's nothing else really that's going to be useful here. Uh, kind of wish I just had a. There's nothing else that, in combat, you do. Tw survival would be thirty. That's a great one. In combat, I do 75% critical damage. Entomologist, which if I had survival 45, survival 30, there's a lot of really good ones with survival skill. Uh, what other things might... I just want to see if this is something I want to do right now. I run faster. Okay, question. Survival, I need to have... Oof, I'm not going to make it. I need to have all points into survival, and then I would be still short. 30? Okay. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some points into survival first. Science is where I'm at, and it's what I need it to be. And that way, I can take Hunter. 75% critical damage against animals and mutated animals. That is going to be useful. Done. So, did they get... Did they get Driver Nephi? Hello? I have very little health. Okay, yeah, that's what I was worried about. See if there's an actual bed. Is there a bed around here? Anybody at the crusher actually have a bed? Gorbets? <laughs> okay. I have seven hit points, so... I mean, I'm doing great. But, um... I'm also... I'm, I'm, I'm also suffering from some serious problems. Yeah, he's still out there. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna duck into a place. I'll be back. <laughs> oh. I heard a bleepy. I don't know where the bleepy came from. I don't know what the bleep was. Real quick. Yeah, just don't mind me. I gotta just head halfway across the wasteland.
Come on. Come to me. Come to me. That's right. Oh, there you are. Okay. Well, it's a mangled head, but I'll take it. Alright, so... Thank you for helping me out with that little problem I was having. Whoa. Hello. Hi. Gorbets. Oh, what what's going on? There's a problem. Uh oh. Okay, I think, finally, finally, we can actually achieve the one thing that I was hoping to achieve after all this time. I can go, I can see Daughtry about whatever he's on about. I see you're still alive. Uh, I want to claim That's supposed to be Driver Nefi? Oh, the head's in really bad shape, so I can't authorize the full reward. I guess we can send First Recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. Sure. Uh, other bounties? Damn. Uh, I guess give me Violet. Violet. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Okay. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother and they never leave her side. This is a time where those frag grenades would have really, or the mines would have really helped. Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. All right. You've gone after the fiends before. I don't... Goodbye. Right. Okay. I did not do it for the money. I sure didn't. So what we're gonna do... Is, uh... Here. Someone's gonna be very happy when they rummage through the garbage. Okay. So now what we are finally able to do. I, s I hope to ever friggin' loving God. Um, that I'm going to be able to finally do I put a spell on you. And if we can... Where does I put a spell on you? Here we go. Because I think I have the necessary requirements so that I can disable the bomb. Disable the bomb, get on the tram. Get on the tram, go to New Vegas. To the strip. And then once I get to the strip, I think we're going to call it for the day because that's uh this is usually I try to end around 4 and so we're we're well into uh 5 hours right now and I'm going to wait here for a minute Okay and we're going to just save real quick uh at uh override one of these I don't need we finally figured out how that's all working out, and let's see if we can finally, finally, finally. Okay. Not there.
All right, no, I missed my window. Okay. Twenty two hours. Sorry, folks, you missed your window. Now you gotta wait twenty four whole hours. All right, now to go in here. They're going to stand over here for a minute. Lupa. This is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10 4. Keep us updated. 10 4. Okay. Now. We are going to finally get to the strip. I am realizing the other thing that I kind of liked about Fallout 4 over Fallout New Vegas and 3 was when you go to level up, um, they don't just automatically send you into the level up screen. You can choose to wait to actually use the points until you're in a more advantageous area. Science. Diffuse. Now we can go to here. Ugh. Well, it only took forever for me to finally get the skills necessary for that. Sue is downstairs. Yes, what is it? No? What happened? Uh, I can prove it was Curtis. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. I'll have Curtis taken into custody. If he lets himself be taken alive, that is. <laughs> mm. Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Bye. Now that I have finally saved the monorail... Monorail. Okay. So now let's go. Sorry, no civilians on the monorail. Any closer, and I am authorized to use deadly force. But, but I just stopped the monorail from getting blown up. I just stopped the monorail from blowing up. 
I did a good thing. I... Don't I get to use the monorail now? I... I... Sorry, no... Okay, okay. What? One thought. We're going to try something. I can go and tell Sue that there is a problem with the monorail immediately, but I might also just be able to get on the monorail after I disarm the bomb, because I did save the monorail, right? So... Lupa, this is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10-4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Oh. We'll try this. And see what we do. The question is, can I use the monorail? Could I use the monorail? Could I just, could you just let me have the monorail ride? I would very much like to just be able to use the monorail. <laughs> So, okay, I guess I need to talk to the king. So... Yes, what is it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No? Curtis? Yep. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. I'll have Curtis taken into custody. If he lets himself be taken alive, that is. So... Okay. I'll go to Vault 3 that and vault find is the Ranger. Watch, but the man... You hear something? 
Yeah, the chainsaw. Yeah, no, I understand. Could be better. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. That's not going to happen. a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. <laughs> they rake in the profits from our yeah. soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Oh, my God. Not exactly the plan. Where does that now lead Now we're you? trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, yeah, you General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. Mm -hmm. So we're in a holding pattern here. Mm -hmm. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Uh. Bye. And so you're not going to let me just use the... I can't just use the monorail now. I just saved your monorail from destruction. Can I... Is, is, it, is it just not like a thing for you that you just let me use the... Uh, I'd really love to be able to do these. I can't get onto the strip. Now a lot of these I need to be able to get onto the strip and they're not gonna let me go through. Do I not have enough of a reputation? Uh, okay, NCR. I'm accepted by the NCR. Okay. They like me. They really like me. My science skill is now at 45, right? At 45. I need to raise my f speech and my science up higher. Actually, my science needs to... My speech needs to be at 60 now. Oh, no. Oh. Karados. I don't know. I don't know. I'm figuring that apparently... They're not going to just let me on. Um, I probably would have to put on some ranger armor or something, or be more liked by the NCR before I could actually... Well, that's pretty great. In order to do that... Um, and so my speech skill is going to have to be higher. Oh my goodness. How far away from my next level am I? 600. So, anywho, um, I'd probably eventually do Valari if I, if I had high enough anything, either my medical skills or, cause let's see here, if I go to look at the world map here, start killing those bars in the starting zone. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. That's gonna be a gonna be a chore. Um, man, they need me to either get some scrap, or they need me to uh, do what and do the medical thing, um, or I need to fix the the stuff. I don't have the repair capabilities of it. It's all it's all about my skill capacity currently. And in order to do this, and I just want to do this simply so that I can, um, simply so that I, I can do the Valari mission, because that's going to be a good one. Um, and so, kind of at an impasse, I'd have to, you know, I, I don't have any medical skills, so that's not going to be helpful. The schoolhouse isn't going to be useful for me. Um, I can't just ask Pearl, can I? 
I'm like, Pearl, come on, haven't I helped you a bit? Pearl. How is your visit with us going, stranger? I do believe you've convinced one or two of us that it's better you made it here than were blown to smithereens. Each of the elders would appreciate assistance with various issues here in Nellis. Seek out Jack, Loyal, Raquel, and Argyle. They will guide you. Bye. I could just hit everybody on the face. That would also work. There's, there's likely some good quests that I could probably do pretty easy uh, over by, like, Camp Golf. Uh, some of these uh, that I haven't really done yet or, or touched, uh, I could probably, could probably take care of fairly easy, um, but not today. Um, I think one last thing that I'm going to do just before I end here is uh can i repair the radio no i'm just gonna go up to the no more tumbleweeds i'm just gonna go up to the cemetery and see where they pulled me out of the ground <laughs> it's a field trip Yeah, the boar's uh, analogy, though, is basically uh, going and just killing bloatflies for five experience points. <laughs> Good five XP, killing the bloatflies. Yeah. Oh, hey! Yeah, in case you're wondering, yes, there is a snow globe here. This is where they decided to pull me out of the ground. Terrific. Okay. So, well, I'm resigning myself to the fact that we'll probably never reach the strip. Uh, <laughs> it's been it's been so much time, and I, I'm still not on the strip. Um... <laughs> I think what I can adequately say at this point, just as, as, uh, cause I've, I've been doing this for a couple weeks now. Um, uh, I'll just get into chatting for a second. I think what I can adequately say about this particular run is while this is, uh, very interesting, um, and, and different, boy, it takes longer than I thought it was going to. Mostly for the fact that, um, I was pretty sure that by doing this, uh, there's all that time where you're trying to scrounge for stuff and you're, you're working on your weapon maintenance and all that and that takes a lot of time your inventory management and, but that uh, that's kind of negated by the also fact that you um, you have to jump through a lot more hoops and spend more time when you don't have the equipment so so it's kind of like a, a, a trade-off it's it's a double-edged sword vicious cycle um, so, so that's interesting. Um, it will probably take me forever to actually do this. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, and that's annoying, but, um, anyway, so, uh, you know, the thing I guess I would, I, I would say is that it, I can tell it's doable, uh, you gotta have a plan. I think if I planned this out better, I would be a lot further along. 
Seriously, if I if I had thought if if I had planned this out and it was like, okay, what are the skills I'm going to need to get to the particular things that I'm doing? If this was like a speed run, I would have been able to go, okay, I need to be, make sure that my speech gets to this and my my science gets to this and all of those things happen immediately. So that I know those are the things I got to tag. Those are the things I got to do immediately. And and I thought maybe I'd be able to use stealth more. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, so I would have tagged different skills. I would have probably done a whole lot of things very differently. And we'd probably be at the strip by now. Um, and you could probably at that point, by the time you get to whatever level you're getting at, um, there are some good skills that unlock for unarmed combat. Um, you could work with the king. Having known what I know now, too... There's only really one path you can take if you're not going to equip any armor and you're not going to equip any weapons and you're not going to spend any caps, uh, which is, I believe, you have to uh, do the quests for the king and then uh, he'll give you a pass into the strip because apparently I can't use the monorail after I save the monorail. NCR. I know. However, next week, we're going to try something a teeny bit different. New Vegas still, but we're going to rewind a little bit. Uh, we are going to have a different character, slightly different character. We're going to have One Punch Man. How are we going to make One Punch Man? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I know how to do it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, the problem that you have with this kind of run is, of course, I have my bare hands, and they don't do much damage at all. However, with One Punch Man, as long as you can get into melee range, you're good. Uh, and what I want to try doing, this nice palate cleanser, is to do a One Punch Man and see if I can... Um, start, uh, uh, do in one, one session, one stream, start to finish in that capacity. So still not going to have anything in the way of equipment on, still not going to have any uh, weapons or anything. However, I will have the advantage of uh, moving a lot faster uh, I plan on moving at two times speed and um, having unarmed damage that does, oh boy, punch a death claw. One punch death clawing. That sounds inter if that sounds exciting to anybody out there, that's what I'm planning on doing next Friday because it will amuse me if nothing else. Um, completely un unclothed uh, and and all around having nothing on it's probably doable it's going to take me a long time and i might come back to this but uh for for right now i just want to see what happens if my uh if if my unarmed damage is 9000 uh so <laughs> so a little bit different next week to start march off right it's going to definitely be a more exciting uh stream <laughs> that will be fun uh, go, go up through the quarry. We'll go up through the quarry. We'll take those death claws on. W wouldn't you love to see that? Of course you would. Uh, all right. Thank you so much uh, to the folks that joined me today. Thank you to Caridus. Thank you to T. Lou. Thank you to DC. Um, everybody who, who joined me today. It's always nice to see people have come in, have nice little conversations uh, while we're here. And, um, you know, uh, that's kind of re that's the reason I wanted to start doing these. Um, we, uh, we of course have our regular Delve episodes every Monday, um, on our podcast, and you will also be able to hear us, uh, on this channel, really, the first Saturday of the month, which will be next Saturday, probably, so I'll have, I'll have my One Punch stream Friday, and then we'll do, on Saturday, our Delve Live at night. Uh, which will be a, a lot of fun. We'll talk about a few things that are going on uh, and a few topical subjects, maybe some stuff from the community, get everybody into a little roundtable, and that will be fun. So uh, look forward to those. 
Uh, and again, thank you for everyone who's watching. We did go long today, but I don't think anyone really minds. Uh, not when you get to see the punishment that I get to go through. Now you don't have to. That's the joy. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. We will catch you on the next one. Goodbye, everyone.